Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion stream. Hello everyone, hello. What's up guys? How goes your day? Hello Sol. Hello, hey Andrew. Asuka, hello. Poncho, Ice Ice. What is up everyone? Shalades. Hello guys. Hello. Yes, today we're doing some intelligence. I've been trying to cycle through all my different builds, so we're doing a sort of dex intelligence build today. Not pure magic, so we aren't a caster. We're more of a melee build. Trying at level 90, we're like going up by increments of 5. I'm trying different uh, upgrade levels as well. To see how active it is, I actually made a backup of this character with plus 8, so before I upgraded all the weapons to plus 9. Just in case this one isn't the most active, I don't know how good the invasion range is at 90 plus 9, but we're going to see today. Uh, these are the weapons that I have going on for today. Some unique ones, Moonlight Greatsword, Moonveil, St. Trina's, Wings of Astil. They're all kind of just based on int builds, so we are using those today. Oh, and the Death Poker as well. I wanted to try out the Death Poker. Yeah, I'm not sure. I have a plus 8 as well. Uh, I don't know what's more active. If this doesn't get quick invasions, uh, the damage seems weird. We could try a plus 8. But yeah, first invasion. That uh, worked pretty well, actually. Instant invasion, so I'm not going to complain there. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm interested too, because nine, plus 9 can go to a max level, and it could go down to plus 7, so... I feel like we could have some decent range. Um, oh, okay, we're right before the boss. Kind of think we might get fog walled here. Hello. Bye bye. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> uh, figured that. I mean, I could chase you, but I feel like you're going to go towards the boss. It's up to you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're going to make it look like they want to fight me. Maybe I could pull out something that could do faster, better damage. But the host at the end of the day is running towards the fog wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the one rough part about this area, I guess. You get a lot of those. They are on a mission. They just kind of ran right by me. Okay, well, that was still a fast invasion, though, so I'm not going to complain. We didn't have to wait around for it. Uh, well, if you are a caster, you can use the... Is it the Radigan icon? I forget what the name of the talisman is that boosts cast speed. I use it on my wizard as well. I just forget the name of it all the time and then i usually offhand the the azuli staff or the oh man i'm forgetting the name of some of the staffs <laughs> the azer staff i think it is that increases your cast speed if you are a caster um no i'm i'm plus nine foes so i think we're gonna get different invasions like different areas we'll see though these are all just like tests for these invasion levels, to be honest. I don't really use these levels ever, so. Hey, welcome. Welcome. How goes everyone's day today? Yeah, I think it does. You have to hit, I think 70 dex is the max cast speed, which is which is pretty rough if you're trying to get there normally. Uh, yeah. Or at least those two together give you 70 virtual dex. The underrated moon veil. <laughs> yeah, we do have the moon veil today. Ooh, mountaintop ruins, but an interesting spot. I've never really invaded here. Uh, why am I holding the moon veil right off the bat, though? Yes, yes. Moonlight greatsword. I see you two are an enthusiast of the blue baby. <laughs> All right. Uh... That's not, that's not the... Why would you put it away? We could have had a moon, or a dark moon off. Okay. That's what you get for falling to the katana <laughs> instead of using the moon veil. <laughs> I mean, the dark moon blade. <laughs> Did I say moon veil that whole time? I, I just, I just kind of woke up sort of recently. <laughs> the honest moon veil. Like getting awake here. <laughs> How do you decide on your inventory organization? So I kind of have like a. Mm, well, this is what I've been using a lot. I usually have a weapon that I main, and then around it, I have things that I find pretty useful to swap to. So I'll always have like a, a chase down weapon near one of my main damage output weapons. So if I'm using like the Moon Veil, let's say I have a Halberd that I can go to quickly, and below it as well. Uh. I don't really have a full inventory loadout that I love yet. 
This is the big moon veil. Hey, I did get an instant invasion again. Um, although I'm in a really bad spot. Oh, unless the elevator's here. <laughs> the big veil. <laughs> Wait, unless they're... Uh, okay. A banana! Show us your big muscles, bro. We know you got those gains. Thank you, man. I try my best at the gym at least four times a week lately. Trying my best, too. Um, can I get up there? Thank you, banana. I appreciate that. I think I'm just gonna finger. Yeah. I think I know the way back. It is a ladder across the sewer, but yeah. I think the finger might be better. Ooh, yeah, this, look at this. Optimal spawn right here. Nice. This way? Yes. Hello. Hi, guys. I'm intrigued. I'm getting invasions in lane del at the 90 instead of what I would assume would be more active at 80 and 70. <laughs> you didn't fall for my sneak attack. Okay, this looks actually, wait, wait. This could be better for death poker, to be honest. Oh, there's three. I didn't see the second summon. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah, this thing can do some pretty big damage. Hey guys, <laughs> goodbye. That was meant as more of a crowd AoE, but I only hit the host. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I thought this might be useful when people are trying to chase you down. If you just happen to stun them with the initial and they might panic roll, they get hit by the explosion. That was really the reason I added that to the build. <laughs> yeah, the host somehow only one to get hit by that. Yeah, it's interesting because intelligence builds have weapons you really can't use on any other build. So like, while well, strength and dex can kind of vary with their infusions. There's certain intelligence weapons that are, are pretty good for like things like that, that you only get to use if you use an infield. Oh, I thought it was a lot lower. Hello there. Well, that's a moon veil. I have one too. Wait, do I have any long range wizarding things? I'm trying to think. <laughs> we, could, we could show the summon how it feels to be moon veiled. Hey guys. I was completely memeing. Why did you die to that? <laughs> One hit. <laughs> okay, well, we'll definitely do something else here. Wing of Astral. Okay. Maybe the wizard should have, you know, leveled some form of health. Oh, I thought I could outrange it, maybe. I like this a lot. It's a really cool... What else do we have? You know, maybe the Moonlight Great Sword even. Yeah, it fares. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of HP either. I just want to see how much damage this can do if we free aim, aim it. Okay, it seems like it sort of has the range, but... It does... Oh! Jeez! Did anybody else see a notification of a blue phantom? Oh, no? I me? Mean, no? What the fuck? Why am I so unlucky like that? I swear, blues just be spawning in in my rear, man. <laughs> they just, they come out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Actually. Okay, I really want to do the moon veil swap. I just want him to, yeah, come here. They really, it is October. This is true. Spooky season. <laughs> the moon veil swap. <laughs> I'm coming back, Mr. Hosty. Okay, now I'm gonna start paying attention. I swear. I never see when, like, blue phantoms get summoned. Another hunter? Did you just say that? Hold up. Did I miss it? I could have sworn I didn't see one. Oh! Okay, well, if that's the case... Oh, there is! I just said I'm gonna pay attention. And I didn't even notice. 
Oh man, he's got no HP though. Like if I hit him at all. It's pretty. <laughs> fun, that did a lot of damage though. Very fun fight, guys. Where? When did the other blue get summoned in? I didn't even see him. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate the warnings though. Not even gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is this is the best thing you guys could do for me. I, I get so caught up in doing what I'm doing, I don't even notice that a phantom comes in. The other blue died. I seen his health get lowered. I didn't notice him die. He's trying to backstab the the host. <laughs> uh, it's more just int foes, to be honest. But whenever I do like any split of int, I use the int weapons in general, even if they're not optimal. Just because you have to like split your build so weirdly. Like there are weapons that are just best dex int and then there's weapons that are best int. So yeah. I usually throw them all on. Even like the Meteoric Blade I've used on a dex int build when that's not optimal at all. It's more just int though. The Moonlight Greatsword. <laughs> oh, he made the cutoff of when I started paying attention. Okay. Oh, it only has 20 actually, so it is it is more int leaning just because I wanted to lean more into the int ashes of war. But it still works with cold infusions, so. Yeah, strength is fun. I feel like strength has like the most variety. Might not have the best damage output compared to like some of the the magic weapons sometimes, but it's got good variety. Oh, yeah, this one's 90. I'm trying out 90. I never really have used this level. It was always 80, 125. We tried out 60 a little bit ago. That was different. Very low damage. Long invasions. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're definitely going to use more magic as well. I'm kind of like cycling my builds. We did strength, dex, we're on ints. I needed to fix up my faith. Um, I've never really used like a quality. Well, I guess I used arcane. Mostly for bleed, though, not the spells. Limgrave, I'm plus nine. Hello there, a fingerprint shield. Hello. With a straight sword? Hey. I don't fully trust you. What's down here? Why are we going down here? Suspicious. I mean, you can't really shield poke with that though. I guess counterattacks? That's pretty honest. Oh, the aim punch. Do you see that? Sometimes it's pretty crazy. That it actually works that way. It's just like you can chip through it so well with this. And take trades. Um, okay. Interesting. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Fun fight though. The honest way to use the, the great shield without shield poke. Yeah, I think that was a weird addition. <laughs> I don't know why they added the aim punch when, you know, there's setups where you're supposed to tank. Like, the, some of the weapons are just better off when you tank and trade a hit, but you just, it diverts your hit. It's so weird. It's never been in any Souls game, and I don't know why they added it to this one. Just kind of can negate your entire reason for having, like, a poise trade build when your attack just misses. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, wham bam. That's what I was thinking. 125 would be basically the same as 137, I suppose. I just, I did all the showcases at 125, so I just stuck with it. Fortnite. <laughs> we like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. Um, okay, I got a weird spawn, though. Do we think they're over there? They don't have this ladder, but I can jump down. They have that ladder, so... Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time. That's another weird part of it, you know? You'd think if it was, like, consistent, it would make sense, but it's random, and that's what makes it weird. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Actually, wait, this is not where I thought I was. Are they below?
or in here oh they're there hello guys oh my god those are some big boys hello some big old weapons i shine my moonlight on you good sir hello that's a big old boy chad thunder <laughs> okay we both have free aim things yours is a tad scarier than mine though mine just looks nice nice <laughs> i want to see how much damage that will do but it's definitely gonna be difficult to land oh beautiful backstab it looked like he was just going for an r1 so that definitely threw me off See, he might do a jump attack, and I have enough time to dodge it. Nice, okay. Surprise! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the fact that I can just pull that out out of nowhere and just like, do so much damage. Such immense damage. Oh, you can't! Okay, it doesn't have a radius for behind it. I thought it went behind me as well. That was unfortunate, really. I was counting on him running behind me. This is not as big as I thought. Um, what do I have on this? I still gotta remember all the different ashes of war I have. This has Storm Stomp. <gasps> this could be kind of funny. Hold up. Yeah, I guess. The, okay, so if I, but if I turn around, I, can I still activate the explosion? I haven't really used the Death Poker in that way yet, so it's interesting. I'm back. Hello. <laughs> the random berry. <laughs> Fairy. <laughs> backstab. Chain backstab. No. <laughs> you do not get to backstab <laughs> again. Oh, although wasn't expecting the teammate to come in right there. They caught me off guard. Oh, I still have this on. <laughs> it's only fair. Uh, I wanted to go for it. Ah. <laughs> oh, a very fun fight, Chad. Come here, son, bro. Parry. <laughs> oh, oh, this is the host. Oh, well then. Hello there, Fort. I should have known. Yeah. Okay, we gotta continue though, Fortnite. We gotta continue because. Oh, that does immense damage. All right, I will. I'll give you a bow. At least we'll do something interesting here. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked, actually. Good games, Fortnite. Good games. Yeah, he looked very gold. He looked more like the Sunbro than the Sunbro. <laughs> that was a fun invasion, though. They did well. Yeah, it does hit very hard. 900? I mean, it is slow, I suppose, so that's fair. If you catch someone off guard with it, the burst... It maybe does it frostbite usually when it hits. That could also be why it does such immense damage. Yeah, honestly, the pure wizard invasions worked well for me. Just because I, I use Slicer anyway as my melee, so it's it's pretty strong. Ah, I haven't really used the Moonlight Greatsword in uh, PvE. Mostly PvP. Nice, Timbo. How have you been, man? Uh, optimal level? I'd say anywhere from, like, I enjoyed 60 to, like, 137. Anywhere in there has worked for me. 60 being, like, instant. 80 and 90 seems pretty fast as well. They've been pretty quick for these past uh, streams that I've done. It really depends, Marcos. I think if you were running a strength build, you could have more than I have, maybe like 40 to 50, uh, because I, I have to have kind of like a spread of strength decks in for this build. I'm only at 40. I think uh, we're having one of those invasions where it um, just takes a long time to connect and it's going to fail, but we'll see. Uh, well, I played a lot of Dark Souls combat. Uh, oops. So it's it's kind of similar. I mean, there are differences, of course, but um, the base mechanics are pretty similar. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> kind of. This is a long loading screen, boys. 80 is pretty good. 80 is pretty damn good for the speed of the invasions you get. Yeah, it is kind of in quality. I guess I guess it is, yeah. I would just call it int, but I'm using melee builds, so I don't want to confuse people. Yo, Rene, I'm fi you're finally awake. I am. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're working on... Oh, you're working. Oh, I appreciate it. Hey, you, Hope your day at work goes well. You're finally awake. Sending some love, Chase. I'm currently working, so I can't watch right now. <laughs> cool. Thank you, man. Watch Chase put points into That's actually funny. Like seeing your favorite athlete. Yeah, some of the damage steroids. I put is pretty crazy. It's wrong. Filthy wizards. <laughs> Especially, I'm actually surprised at how well the Moonlight Greatswords R2 uh, does. I didn't know it did it like a, towards a thousand damage. Crazy. And yeah, Timbo, it is. I think. I think I'll make a few more builds at 60 because those. The damage output is pretty cool for streams since we have like long fights, long invasions sometimes. They feel like wars. Whereas like my showcases, you know, I invade if I'm using like a dual wield weapon. You can kind of like one shot people pretty easily at 125. Or at least two shot them. Thank you so much for the reoccurring membership, Timbo, by the way. 41 months. Has it been that long? Jeez. It's almost four years. Oh. We are still plagued by the bots here, I see. Siofra Aqueduct. Hello there. Morgana. Hey, guys. The beauty of the moonlight. Come here. John Elden Ring. Hello. You want to fight in here? I don't even have any physical damage, but you do. Oh, God. Whips. Is there a wall right behind me? <laughs> I only noticed that because... Oh, my camera zoomed in a little bit. Okay. Random moon veil. Oh, that is some high ping. Okay, that explains a little bit. Whoop. Bad trade. <laughs> oh, I thought I could knock him out of it. Well, that was for some testing. Fun fight though, boys. Very good teamwork. I didn't know the moon would do, like, all my HP. Did, I think it popped my bubble tier, too. <laughs> yeah. I really thought we could knock them out of it, but I just finished saying that they had higher ping, so I should have known that. That was funny, though. John Elden Ring. I even kind of missed out on that meme. Oh, I wasn't wearing my defense ring. That might have helped. Yeah, I got to appreciate the katana swap sometimes. Those work pretty well. They do. Ooh, feral. Oh, this is... This is an interesting area. <laughs> I don't think I've ever fought specifically on this tree. This is when I... You know, strength builds are nice because you have horror Lou. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> That's not good. Wait, will this work up there? Wait, why did that not? Hey guys. <laughs> Hostie's still alive. Still throwing rocks up there. Let me up. There we go. Now we do the explosion. <laughs> that worked out pretty well, though. <laughs> I was thinking, what's the uh, weapon that I have that has an AoE? And this is really it, so... Can I just... Uh, I, I... Whoa! That does a lot of damage if they just sit in the first part of the ghost flame. Wow. A thousand? Okay. I like this weapon. It's doing well for me. It is a really good way. Like the startup is slow, but I feel like in certain areas, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty damn good. <clears throat> yeah, it does apparently. Apparently it's a persistent one. I'm trying to think of like areas that we've invaded quite a lot in the past. I wonder, 
What's a cool place to stand when you invade? I wonder if it really has any impact on the proximity of where you're going to invade next. Like, if I sit in the underground, I can't invade in here, but... If I sit in the underground, will we invade more in the underground, or is it randomized? I really don't know yet. Yeah, I was debating using a Nagakiba, but I, honestly, I just, I would have had to invest two more decks, and I was like, eh. The build was already kind of good to go, so I didn't. I think it's random. I kind of do, too. I've sat, like, in specific areas that I wanted to invade before, and I didn't really get those invasions, so. Halig Tree is really cool. Uh, this is more int than dex for sure. Definitely more intelligence based. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How goes it, man? And Weddy, hello, man. Wait. I already have the Wing of Astal. <laughs> hey, it's the same guy with the shield earlier. Uh, yeah, how like do you fall a lot in some of the parts of it? Uh, it depends. I already invaded this poor guy twice. Oh wait, once. Hello there. Hey man. How goes it? Um, I could try to use something different for you. Because I, I did use uh, the other thing earlier. Oh. An attempt was made. What about this? I think you can strafe that decently. Man, jumps sometimes are pretty nuts. They let you get away with, like, so much. I have the poise to tank the straight sword. <laughs> Interesting, though. Got a lot of strength, I guess. And using an int straight sword. Sadly, I can't stay, but I will watch the vid. Aw, oh, Daniel. Guys. Thank you so much, man. The support is always appreciated. You guys are honestly so kind. <laughs> Excuse me. That was the same guy from earlier, yeah. <laughs> He's just chilling around there. Always like to stand near like sunny places. I don't know, Fort Height. You always sit at Rampart Tower. That's a pretty cool place. Do you, end up, do you ever end up getting more invasions there? I'm guessing no, but. Yeah, I mean, jumps are pretty safe for the most part. I mean, unless you're fighting outnumbered, obviously nothing is really the safest. You can get punished, but like in a like one v ones, it's not too bad. Blueberry, thank you so much, man. Honestly, the best muffin, by the way. Blueberry muffin reigning supreme. Moses early. One of those like 2016 videos. Become OP early. Wow, this spawn is he down there? I'm going down. Thank you. Wait, what? He's in Castle Soul? <laughs> Where did it spawn me originally? In no way did I think he was at Castle Soul. Yeah, the, the recusant finger was definitely necessary. That was a smart addition. Maybe in the mausoleum? Over there. Okay, hello. Hello. Yeah, what was that? Where was I? I, th I think I'm... I was higher than that mountain, right? I think. Hello there. Hi guys. We're about to have a battle with a ringing in our ear. Prepare yourself. <laughs> um, you know what the downside is? That I feel like without certain builds. Thank you. Thank you. I really should use those more. Uh, like strength builds kind of have it. Like you can use the lance. Int builds don't really have a great spear though, do they? I thought that works well for them. Oh! Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what is the host doing like a fist only playthrough? I swear. People are hilarious. Oh, that's a wizard. <laughs> I heard the sounds of demise behind me. <laughs> 
I will surprise you, mister. <laughs> the secret moon veil. I am also a wizard. <laughs> Just in the form of melee wizard. That actually does pretty good. People don't expect it. Not the FPS loss 2000. Please. Anything but that. Oh! What? 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 Will that still track me all the way over there? Okay, I'm gonna heal. Those hurt. And they track forever. <laughs> I thought I could poise tank the twin blade, which I could have, but I got hit by the magic and that added to the poise damage, sadly. Wizard. Actually, you know what we're gonna do and be smart here? There are two of them. Let's get some regen going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you? Oh, yeah, you can use the projectile by backstepping. Yeah. On this particular. Yeah. Oh, my! Okay, well. I was trying that out. That was my own bad. I think we're gonna need spears to get around with the wizard just applying pressure constantly. I still find it funny that. Look at that. This still draw, has frame rate drop. Isn't that weird? Is it anytime it's in the area? Or do I have to be looking at it? While the wizard's out of FP! Oh my god! I got aim punch right there as well. Only one of my spears hit. I find that pretty funny. <laughs> the wizard's kind of just stationary. I mean, like, you could easily go and kill the wizard, but, like, you know, what's the point? They have no HP whatsoever. Oh, packet loss? Okay. I kind of want to do it with the Moonlight Greatsword. You earned the wizard death. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. You really didn't have any help. Gotta try to avoid that to make it nicer on them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think a regular, like, ultra could have one-shot him or something. What did he have, 600 HP? The Moonlight Greatsword did it. Honestly, yeah, I'm always impressed when people are going through the game with their health like that. Like, I guess they have their summon take the aggro of the boss, but like, it's they still have the dodge, right? Like, at some point the boss does switch. I guess magic does a ton of damage, though. You can also use like the infinite FP tier for like 15 seconds Kamehameha stuff. There's, there's ways around some bosses. As a as a pure wizard, with no HP. Have I ever played Elder Scrolls online? No. I have a friend that plays Black Desert online, but I haven't really seen a lot of the... I don't even know what those would be called, I guess. They're RPGs, right? But it's just like the, the top-down way they're played. I've never really played those games. Oh, it's pretty good, Roman. We're all good here. Internet setup. Whole setup's pretty good. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah, yeah. Black Desert is an MMO. You're right. I haven't seen him really PvP. I've only seen the grinding part of it. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you, Joel. I appreciate it. Hey, we get a lot of the shunning grounds. I like this. I, other than the fact that sometimes I don't know where I am, these areas are pretty cool. Um, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure with this build, magic still does more damage, but cold could be more effective in terms of uh, like frostbite. So it's really up to you, because they are they are more strength leaning when they're cold infused. So. You only need to grind for 5,000 hours. 
Oh, wow. Is this really a, a terrible spawn? Yeah, it is. I can't get up there easily. <laughs> I, always, I always do that. <laughs> I eat my crab before I warp. As is true. Oh my god, Tetsuya. You have a phantom. I'm gonna go leave you to this. I'll go look for your phantom. I saw you had a phantom. Right? I could have sworn. Michael, thank you so much, man. I just saw a health bar, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> well, one of the summons died. Okay. I appreciate that, man. How's your day been going, Michael? Oh, add glint blade phalanx? Yeah, sure. What weapon do you think you'd like it on? I could put it on one of the katanas. Maybe the heavy thrusting sword. Thank you. I'll just go towards Tetsuya. Oh, well. I just came for a visit. A nice in-depth look to someone's playthrough. <laughs> These things are strong, though, when you, like, aggro them in a pack. Oh, hang on, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Free ruins! <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of weapons that Gravitas could work pretty well on. Um, like, anything that could do a roll catch follow-up afterwards, I guess, would be good. Now, um... Raptor of the Mists... I guess we could put it on the Stitcher. Could be pretty good. I already have a magic. Well, I already have a cold one. So I'll just magic it. Uh, I didn't put the Meteoric Ore Blade on this simply because it's way more of a strength weapon than Int. So like, my build would have it hitting like a noodle. I have barely any strength and yeah, it's mostly strength. A madness. I've never really done. Oh, never really done like a whole madness build, have I? I've only used like the Vikes War Spear. It would be interesting to have all the madness incantations and full madness. I I think that would be a very effective build. Not very interesting weapon variety, I guess, but it would definitely make for a fun stream. I'm down for that. I want to make a, a faith build too that uses incantations like the flame ones, since they combo off swords. I feel like those could be pretty useful. I think that's what I might do next stream. Try and get it ready for that. How do you get invasion so fast? Well, using the invade near and far feature since the update being... Oh, my talisman's here. Uh, I've been testing out a whole bunch of different levels for activity. And honestly, from 60 to 90 so far has gotten me pretty like near instant invasions. So I'd recommend that if you're not looking to wait around. You do get some like this though where they're fog walling. <laughs> Sadly. But you get pretty instant invasions. They do, yeah. I don't know why. Grand Cheese, thank you so much, though. You watching the last season of Bleach? I haven't actually watched. Like, Bleach is the one long, ongoing anime that I have not watched. I recently watched Fairy Tail because I hadn't watched that, and then the next one I'm gonna do is either Bleach or One Piece. Fingerprint. I guess fingerprint has madness. <laughs> I could add that to the build. You're not wrong. Yeah, isn't One Piece, like, extremely long at this point? It's still going, right? Yeah, it's crazy that you can use the shield bash and, like, proc the madness with the madness shield so quickly. So random. <laughs> yeah, it has over a thousand episodes, right? I'm told. Kyle, thank you so much, man. Hope you've also been enjoying the Elden Ring. Even if you watched 18 hours a day, it takes two weeks. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. I don't think I watch 18 fire, hours a day. Fire.
I don't even know what my favorite show would be, to be honest. I watch so many. Sometimes they even blend together. Like, if you just watch everything that comes out on Crunchyroll. No, I'm actually waiting, because uh, I'll be visiting my girlfriend uh, at the Christmas holiday. <laughs> she wants me to watch House of the Dragon with her, so I haven't watched it. I've been resisting. <laughs> at the same time, I also like watching those shows back to back, so that is nice. I can wait till that. Yeah, someone told me to watch Made in Abyss. Actually, one of my friends did. Ooh, I I never get invasions right here. This is a really cool area. Um, it's also foggy. Hello there, sir. Oh, in the blue. Hello. Um, you're not AFK, right? Are you barehanded? I'm so confused. What's happening? <laughs> On. <laughs> <laughs> These are interesting sneak attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's like a cosplay, like some NPC cosplay. Ooh, Kiki. There must be some cosplay going on here. Oh, I frostbit him. <laughs> I'm confused. The initial two-handing of the fist, though, that, that threw me off. <laughs> I've never seen someone guard with a fist. I didn't know you could do that. Can you parry jump attacks? No. That makes them pretty safe. Two-handing my, my fists. Interesting. <laughs> We're not going to do that, but interesting. I feel like a bare hand duel in Elden Ring, honestly, would just take such an immense amount of time that I, I just don't think I would do it. Hello, guys. You're crazy. Hey, I have that too. Well, actually, hmm, I kind of want to surprise them. Oh, there's a wall behind me. Oh, hey. I see. I see how you are, biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I have that as well. <laughs> I was made for the anime arts. <laughs> oh. Moonvale. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so good. <laughs> Too good. <laughs> Like, what if we had the unsheath weapon art, but we gave it a magic projectile? Oh, make it do half of their health. Make it do half their health. That's good. That's good. I imagine that's how the the board meeting went for the Moonvale. Hmm. <laughs> Banana Moonvale. It is beautiful though. Like you know, you get why everyone likes it, right? Like, it's so cool looking. Same with Rivers of Blood. Like they made such good weapons look so cool. <laughs> Who's not using those? Uh, what? Are, we haven't used a lot of the other weapons that I have here. Let's go with. Do I have the weight load for two halberds? I do. Okay. Okay. I haven't dual halberded in a while. What's going on up here? Hello, guys. I just came to say hello. <laughs> okay. Hey, you like pebbles? Wait, why, why is my pebble not locked on? <laughs> Jennifer. 
Taste my pebble. <laughs> pebble. I'm a wizard too. <laughs> Enjoy the pebble. <laughs> okay. Now we do some fun AoE stuff. Poke! Explosion! <laughs> Slash. Wait, 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 there's more. Poke! No! Jennifer! You're not supposed to learn! Poke! Weave of fire! Sorry. Explosion! <laughs> okay. Goodbye, Jennifer. Horaloo! What? <laughs> Your iframes have saved you, but only this time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I, had, I have the phalanx actually, Michael. I did add it for you. I just forgot to use it. It's on my, uh, it's on my stitcher. There you go. Thank you again, though, banana. I appreciate it. It's stronger, faster, more efficient. I know it's crazy. It's, it's pretty. I get it. At least the damage. I don't know if the damage is higher, is it? Than the equivalent of the sorcery one? I guess it depends on your int level. Oh, do you mean the moon veil? Oh, yeah, I missed the context there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 100%. I wasn't even a, I wasn't even an int build. I was a dex build, and I found that katana, and then I, I, I specced into it because it was so cool. Uh... Let's see. I think plus nine can go down to plus seven. I think so. Not a hundred percent. To my knowledge, though, I think on the site it says that for the range 17 should be hit by 22. Oh yeah, for sure, foes. We're definitely gonna do more DS3. I wonder how active it is. And Wex Dust has been updated, I'm told. So definitely something I want to do. Rabid Chipmunk. Okay. Hello there. How many of you are there? There are... Aha. Melania. Blade of Mikula. And I've only, only known the feet. Wizard! Smack. Actually, he's not really a wizard. He's got the wizard attire, but he's a bleed build, so... That's something. You know what's rough about the Glimblade Phalanx? It actually has the thrust attack, which is a... Oh, I thought he fell off the glue. <laughs> it's a really good thrust attack, but... It's so hard to use because you have to use the Phalanx in everybody's face, right? Like this. And then it's hard to space, so... Sad face. Banana, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Wait, what is his name? Jabina? And li Lithium Femic, thank you guys. Borg, dude, thank you so much, man. So kind. Can I land anything interesting for you guys? And Gleepful, I appreciate the membership. All right, well, came here for I I entertainment, right? Wizard! <laughs> I'll give in to the Moon Veil. Hmm. Suspicious damage. <laughs> That's how hard we'd like the Moonveil to hit, isn't it? <laughs> that was some 90 damage. Oh, this is a big field. I didn't even notice that. Borg, though, thank you so much, honestly. So kind. I need him to be comfy and then. Hoo -ah! There you go. The Moonveil. My classic Moonveil damage. 97, you know. Everyone else, 2,000. Chase, 97. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. I want to I want to give it. Could you put them both to sleep at the same time? That'd be so cool. Ooh. We got out of that quick. That was weird. I think my second hit might have woke him up. That's why. Okay, yeah, this guy will be asleep in, like, an R1, I believe. Nope, not an R1. Nope. 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 My plan. 
The Moon Veil swap. It's actually it's it's actually pretty weird to do with two people. I'm going to be honest. I probably won't do it with two people. Just because one will I don't know attack me while I'm trying to do the swaps. Oh, the bleed. <laughs> bleed can be scary. Let's see. I could. I don't know how much poise this one has. <laughs> I love his random attacks, though. I'll start using things that hurt a little bit more, though. They've drained a little bit of my health. <laughs> that was some interesting ping connection. <laughs> it takes the hit so late, it's funny. Okay, we need to use some frostbite. Thrust! Whoa! Good thing that Twin Blade doesn't hurt a ton, because he's got really high range with that. Okay, now we can do some fun things. The guy with the Melania swords in my back isn't there. Oh. Honestly, I usually... There we go. <laughs> well, fun fight, boys. Good teamwork. So to give him a night's sleep. Uh, yeah, you can still hit a multiple parry. Uh, just a lot of people use Ashes of War, so it's kind of weird to go for parries. Yes, get out of here, sight. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good combo. You have to swap it pretty quick, but it does very good damage. Yeah, they really are against high latency since you get the phantom hits. Phantom was 142. Ah. Hmm. That's why he was doing some pretty good damage. Hey, what's up, Rusty? Hello, everyone. They just popped in. Cheeky. Pink cheeky. Uh, yeah, 56 is fine. The reason I go to 61, I think, is to tank two-handed... Some of the two-handed attacks. 55, I think, will let you tank, what, katanas? Like, the lower stun ones? Uh, hey, Chase, what weapon from older games do you miss? Went back to DS3 just to play the Fair and Greatsword. Yeah, there were some really unique ones. Um, honestly, I guess it's more the overall combo system hey, I miss. Chase, what weapon from older games do you miss? Went back to DS3 so, yeah, things like the Fair and Greatsword were really fun. Uh, Spoldy was content. pretty damn strong, but it was cool, like, the way the animation worked. Uh, Elden Ring kind of feels like you get one hit in, you know, you can roll catch, but like for the most part it is like more of like a, a poke and prod type fight. You hit them once, deal damage, get out, or try to pressure them for more. I like the interesting combos the DS3 weapons had. Ah, that makes sense. Also, I think I did it to tank something on a heavy thrusting sword. Is it the R1? True. In some ways, the hit stun did make it hard to get like easy to get blended in DS3. But they also had a system where if you get hit three times, you would instantly be able to roll no matter the situation, or if you hit a certain amount of like stun. So you you could always usually get out of like full blenders unless it was like vestige or things that reset your hit stun. Uh, in Elden Ring, you kind of just die in three hits anyway. So it's like two people hit you at the same time. It almost feels like you got full blendered by a team anyway. <laughs> so they're pretty even, I guess. I do like the true combo system, though, just because it looked nice. Hey, Banana, thank you so much. Oh, Rusty, he has one, actually. I think it's in the, uh, one of the Colossal Weapon duels. I forget. Ah, uh, what one? we have done so many of them. Hello there. Uh, Abdul Crouch. Nice. And Salmon Roll. <laughs> Why Salmon Roll? 
<laughs> I don't think I understand the, the term here. Get off me! <laughs> you wanted to be up close and center. There you go. Oh. Good bleed. Scary damage. Um. Okay. Hang on here. Let me think. What can we use that's kind of nice? Kind of fair. This is kind of better. That did so much damage though. 700. <laughs> oh man. Int builds. Salmon is yummy. I would love some sushi. I haven't su had sushi in a bit. Hey. Ooh. Oh, because he used Sapuku. Okay. I see. That's why the bleed rate was so high. I see you. I'm watching you. I'll take that trade, sir. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so damaging. It's actually beautiful. Against certain setups. Seppuku double bleed can be pretty strong. So that's fair. I do need my FP back. Grossmasters are great. Yeah, Grossmaster I actually like uh, as a curved sword. I think I would have here the bandits though. The bandit did better for magic. Whoa. Oops. Oops. Come back, Abdul. I'm here. Hello. <laughs> I don't get why at moments like a team will full on sprint at you and then run away the other times. Hey. <laughs> oh, this could be good as well. For projectiles. An attempt was made. Wow, that does good damage. I like the attempt at trying to zone me. Pretty good. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Oh, he's got frostbite on that? I did not know that. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, salmon roll. Why does everyone die when I kill their teammate? They're just like, I'm out of here. Bye, sir. Oh, the Marais ex Executioner, yeah. That is strength as well, though. Yeah, you can use Seppuku very well in PV. 100%. Very strong. Terrifyingly so. <laughs> Was he trying to jump off the cliff? I couldn't tell. How do I hold my controller? Standard. Unless I'm like running and swapping in my menu, then I bring my like index finger down to do like the, the menu touch button. But that's it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think he's in there. But, I mean, I don't think I can shoot a cannon in there, can I? Hmm. I have a cannon. Probably not going to waste my time because I do want fights in general, but I just want to see what would happen if I fired a cannon, like, there. Yeah, these still exist. Oh, well. We tried. Oh, can you? I have to learn that. Just for fun, just to scare them, because it would make for such a funny video. Uh, yes, yes, we have the cannon even on an int build, because, of course, power play. Thank you so much, man. Hey, a coffee? I appreciate it. Or is that, is that a cheers?
Hey, Dave, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely going to continue. I've been doing a lot more invasion stuff lately, I guess. But we're still going on with the, the weapon showcases for sure. Hey, have a good day, Bayonet. <coughs> Excuse me, Bayonet. <laughs> Never leave home without the jar cannon, true. And if you have the strength for it, the wizard away 9,000. Always important. No, I haven't really seen any of the, the swaps like that. I should check those out. They look kind of funny. Oh, really? But then I gotta restart the game. I'm really lazy to do that. <laughs> if I wasn't streaming, I'll, I'll take you up on that. Yeah, uh, Balal, 100%. You can use the wave of gold there, anything. Arden! Oh, I love invading here. This is like one of my favorite areas to invade. I don't know why. I just like the city. They've always been my favorite castle invasion areas. Hello, Arden. How are you? Do you have a teammate? I can't tell. You have the Lord Sworn Greatsword? Oh. Interesting outfit. The Jelly Shield. Here's a question. Does the Jelly Shield work when you... Oh. I was trying to bait him into that and not use the explosion. When it's on your back... I haven't really used the jelly shield for anything. Yeah. Follow up. <laughs> Great sword fights are kind of funny. Thrust. Oh, it's me. Maybe we'll do the finish with the aura one to burn it. Oh, I tried to predict where it was going. That might hit me. Oh, why didn't you do the follow up? That's sad. Very fun fight, though. Did the light attack by accident, I guess. It doesn't? Uh, okay. You need it in your offhand. Damn. That'd be a cool addition, since I mostly two-hand my weapons anyway. <laughs> Put up a shield on your back, protected you from backstabs. Didn't something in Dark Souls 2 do that? I didn't really PvP much in Dark Souls 2, but I was told that. I think I remember it being like a Jester set or something. Yeah, you need it in your hand. I thought so. You like that it doesn't always combo? Yeah, it is pretty damaging, so it is kind of fair that if you roll into it very late, It'll combo, but like for the most part, it doesn't. I didn't even realize though, can you get an R1 off a flaming strike too? Instead of just the R2? I feel like I got hit by his R1 there. Oh, we're in the tower. Oh, this is an interesting area. This is what, okay, remind me to put Horalu on something. For like areas like this, it would just be so optimal. I don't have it on any hit weapon right now. <laughs> I have failed. It'd be so useful. If they're like in corridors. Oh no. Like right there. <gasps> what do I have that can actually, well. There's always the cannon. Wait, did, did they fall and it just looks like this is still here? If I go on this right now, will I die? <laughs> I, okay, this is just for science. I'm betting that this has fallen. We'll see. Oh. What? That's weird. But for them, it's gone. Hmm. Oh, this has been like, yeah, I should really have like a gravity toss as well. I guess this will do. They jumped to the next one. Oh, they jumped to that one. Well, I can recuse in finger maybe. 
right? I'm just going to see where this takes me. So if they're already all the way down, it might bring me down. Well, it brought me somewhere. <laughs> brought me a little closer. Okay. We're good. I vaguely remember. Am I supposed to land on that? Feel like I don't land on that. So much for stealth. Well, for science. Is this the right one? Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I would have made it, but they fell. They failed. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> My way works too. <laughs> Good to know. I don't trust the little chandelier. Or whatever that was. Right one might have not made me take fall damage, so. Noted. Yes, it does, Sean. I actually only realized that last stream. That when you use your buffs first, whenever you recuse in finger, all your buffs leave. I don't use the finger much, and I guess I had never used it after buffing, so I didn't really notice. In my showcases, anytime I like had to use it, it was always because I wasn't near the host on spawn. That's good to know, though. <laughs> they are relentless. <laughs> Michael, thank you, man. So what I was trying to say was use Gunplay and Phallax at the beginning of the invasion and swap off to your Moonlight. Oh, 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 I see. You might just have it above me. And then go Moonlight. And just try to combo it. Okay, that could be devastating. We could try that out. Some good old-fashioned homing soul mass combo. Oh, Horaloo. Thank you. Thank you. What are we putting that on, though? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Okay, so what I was trying to say was use a glint blade phalanx at the beginning of the invasion and swap off to your moonlight or something you like. Tough decisions. Tough. I do like my halberd. That way I can stun. This is tough. Clean rod sword. <laughs> it doesn't scale off anything but like the the damage of the weapon, right? Or the I guess it scales off strength, but I'm not a strength build anyway, so it's gonna do bad damage on everything anyway. Let's just do this. This could be fun. We'll keep it cold. Be more like the physical scaling one. <laughs> or a Lou on the anchor. <laughs> that could be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I recently fought like the Fire's Deadly Sin with the Blood Flame uh, exploit thing. Did they? Is that the only one they didn't patch? They patched the, the Curse build-up one. So I, I really always thought they'd patched all of them. Does it work with like Bleed and Frostbite and stuff? <laughs> Imagine it worked with Frostbite. <laughs> How hilarious that'd be. So sad. Oh! Oh, damn, we reinvaded the guy AFK farming. Okay, we'll just block that, I guess. I'm lazy, but that, that's annoying to reinvade constantly. Um, it would have been the first one, right? Yeah. <laughs> Steam says AFK, current rank. Okay, that's the right guy. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. No, you can't get in that tower. Uh, so they always sit in there to just AFK farm invaders. And they're always taunted tongues, so you usually see like a second invader in there. Oh yeah, this is the moon veil in my hand. <laughs> I'm just casually holding the moon veil. No big deal.
Oh, I have I've had I've had a lot of people uh, going into the boss today too, though. It's been unfortunate. Oh, it was the cranial one, banana. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, that's what it was called. I always forget the name of that colossal. The cranial vessel. <laughs> it's interesting too. The Ash of War has like an AOE, but it's so slow. People just kind of like look at you and like walk away from it. It's hard to pressure with it. Uh, I've never done like low, low level. I know people have told me that they've tried low level and it's very, it's very active. And it's like constant like fights. Trying to find the low damage, constant battle. You. It was the cranial candle I'd have to try that out one day. Head on a stick. Skull, skull, Thank skull, you, Banana. Skull. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess you would get some good invasions in like Liurnia and um, the Stormvale. I don't really get it Stormvale invasions, and I do love that area, so it's kind of sad. Yeah, the lower level you go, man, the more difficult fighting an overlevel phantom is as well. <laughs> and then you run into max phantoms and they one-shot you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the case. So when I tell people like mid-level is pretty active, you gotta be ready because high-level phantoms will do absurd damage to you since you're not like decked out in full damage, you know, your absorption isn't the highest. You have to be careful. <laughs> no, I wanted to surprise Moonvale both of them. I got stunned though. I gotta climb back up. Or they're gonna try to camp the ladder. So instead, what we're gonna do is, how high can I shoot this cannon? Michael, I'll try that right now. Okay, well, actually I have to get Gravitas to try out part of that, but. Thank you. Where'd they go? Did they leave? I thought they were gonna camp the tree branch. Thank you. Maybe I was wrong. Smiling face we'll at least try this first. You know, I haven't used Torfrost Stomp in a while either. I feel like that could be pretty good in certain scenarios. That is an interesting camera angle. Oh, that's an Iron Maiden. You're in for fun. Oh, I am. I'm in for fun almost. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> they were camping, the stupid... He still is. Okay. Hang on now then. Yeah, run away. <laughs> That's scary though. Having that like tree branch there to be able to just freaking stars of ruin me. That's terrifying. And Braveheart, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'll try to land something cool here. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you just pulled the- wait. You can jump over this, right? Yes. This host is on a mission. It's been going great today, actually. Really fun invasions. Oh, did he go all the way down? Oh, this is a big cave. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's at the boss. Hey there. <laughs> I really wonder if they think... Like, I'm impressed they wait for the invader. To see them like it's some like amazing feat, you know, <laughs> like like it hurts us, it damages us. How could we fail to stop them from getting to the boss? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's like, I've never gotten that part of it. This is fine if you fog wall. <laughs> I want him to see me run away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, brother. <laughs> Bound, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Have you ever tried the flail family heads? Not family heads. Only uh, bastard stars, I think, so far have I tried on a build. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you. Wee. But it wastes their time too, you know? Like, it's not really a waste of my time. I'm like spending my time invading. I don't... It's more of a waste of their time. Bear witness. As I fog wall better than ever. Ooh, Castle Soul. I love this area. I, I used to only invade this area. Oh no, it's Moses again. But Moses has no health. <laughs> That's... I remember Moses. Favorite cheese. Ooh. That's tough. Oh no. Hello, guys. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Hello. All right. The perfect time for the int cannon. Oh no, he's got one too. Man. Cannons are lame. <laughs> oh. oh no, Moses. <laughs> Uh, I didn't think you'd fall off and die. Well, so you keep cannon on you though. <laughs> I love the cannon. It's so good. I was actually gonna start that uh, the cyberpunk anime. Is it good? I need some new ones because everything else that I've watched so far on Crunchyroll has one episode from the new season and man I just yeah except for is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon there's a fourth season of that I'm actually gonna watch that later with a pizza you just inspired me I'm getting the pizza today <laughs> you only live once right cheese is life You've been talking too much about cheese now I want cheese uh Okay, I spawned in an interesting spot. One Piece I will start, though. My friend loves it so much. He owns, like, all the box sets. So I, I gotta give it a chance. Pizza and burrito. Damn. That's why you need, like, someone else to order food with you so you guys can go half and half. Half a pizza, half a burrito. Yeah, the, the cyberpunk one looked pretty good from what I saw. Oh, they might be up top here. <laughs> yeah, oh. Jim! Hello, oh my god, I just realized I have Horror Lou on this. Well. When the, when the game calls for it. Backstab! An attempt was made. Oh, bad trade. I don't know where the host set, but I thought he might jump in and hit me during that. How do I get up there? Oh. Okay. Horrorly wasn't enough to kill, but what may be. Wait. This is such a vertical map. I'd also like to request that cameras allow me to look up more. I don't know why they're always locked to some certain angle. Hello. That was perfect. Really spaced. I don't know what I'm doing, but I thought this was my Horaloo. I really did. I'm greatly disappointed now. <laughs> Frig is on my Halberd. I usually keep it on my Zweihander. Okay. An unfortunate turn of events, really. Oh! Oh, hello, Sunbro. Come down here. Yes. It's much nicer over here. Moonlight Greatsword. Jim, come here. No, no, Jim. That's smart, but no, we don't do that. No, no, Jim. No, no. <laughs> Can I put it up top? No. Sadly, I can't. Do I have any Ash of War? Now, I don't have an Ash of War, per se, but... <laughs> what I do have is a cannon. 
Now, face my wrath. Moon Veil times two. Oh. Ooh. Okay, game. No, I want to lock onto the Sunbro, okay? In all his Sunbro glory, I'm just, I'm just like a, a stage hazard here. That's all I want to be. No, I'm on right now. Aha! I'm in a small little area, but that's fine. I don't know why he keeps giving me backstab attempts on him. <laughs> Very fun fight, Jim. <laughs> all right, now. What I wanted to do originally to the wizard. Hey, wizard, stop it. Stop swinging that sword and come at me. Ah! <laughs> Juan, thank you so much, man. Honestly, there's just nothing that gets, I don't know, there's nothing as good as Souls Combat, I find. Obviously, like, it's never the most balanced, but it's the fun aspect of it, you know? The chaos, the things you can do if you come prepared. Face my magic wave. It, it's hard to land that in a 1v1. Not even gonna lie. Poke. Oh, almost. Clipping R2! <laughs> I know we got some high ping, but that's interesting. And then I don't get a backstab. I feel relatively cheated. Completely cheated. <laughs> that was a beautiful roll catch. Oh, I think this might be a zero damage crit. No, okay. Very fun fight though, Picnic. Was that his name? Whoop. <laughs> GG though, that was fun. Max level, I mean, I've done that in the past. I don't think I have a max level build anymore on uh, Dark Souls 3. The highest I ever tried it. Well, I did try max level at that one point, but I think that was on PlayStation back a long time ago. Have I watched the Godzilla anime? I have not. Juan, thanks again though, man. I appreciate that. I always have a good time with Souls Combat. What do you think about the DLC? I've been grinding it so hard. <laughs> the Elden Ring DLC Eclipse, yes. Amazing times. Speaking of that, though, I wonder what kind of, like, land they're going to have in the DLC. We kind of have, like, the desert area, well, the Badlands. Um, we have Winter. We have Golden Holy City. I like water area. Grass. We're missing, like, a sand, I guess. Excuse me. Like an actual, like, desert biome? I guess technically Langdell becomes like that. I don't know what they're gonna make, to be honest. A swamp. <laughs> Look at a swamp, I swear. <laughs> Michael, a glimp like phalanx can be good sometimes to protect. Yeah, it's really good for heals as well. You can use it as, like, a, an anti-pressure. Just gotta remember where it is. It's right under my moon veil. Okay. That's pretty good for the swap, actually. Pretty optimal. True, on the ladder as well. Does it, does it do enough stamina damage to knock them off? I don't know. Ah, uh, Shalades, thank you as well. What have you guys been doing? What builds have you been running lately? Or having the most fun with? I'm pretty, I feel, I feel, I'm like, okay, sorry. I can't English. I'm almost like positive we'll get a DLC. I don't know if we'll get one by like Christmas, but it would be weird for them to have their most popular like selling game not have a DLC when all those others did. Did they all just die to the Millennia Flurry? I think, I think they did. The Waterfowl got them. I think they did. Yeah, we kind of, we have a swamp, you're right. We do have like the water area swamp. We don't really have a water area, like water, water. Like full on ocean. I don't know how they would do that though. One of those platforming areas. They'd be terrible though at the same time for PVP. Yeah, they'll, they'll probably announce something. Maybe they'll announce it in the holiday season. And it'll be like in the new year. I have watched Jujutsu, Ka eh, Jujutsu Kaisen, yes. It's actually very good. I hope they continue that. Elden Wind Waker. 
Hey, Wind Waker. Moonwalker. Sea of Rot. Well, we do have that. We don't want any more of that. No, no. No more Scarlet Rot, please. Scarlet Rot's been a little bit excessive. There's two different places with it. Hello, guys. Oh, there's three. Hey, there. Okay, this could turn into a really interesting invasion if I don't get blasted by that right away. Hey, where'd my swords go? All right, we play it. We do it. We try not to let these hit. I'm a wizard, Harry. I see they're all infields as well, though. Snipe. Oh, through the shield, it did that much damage? Damn. That's good. We can definitely use that to our advantage. The Grander. Actually, which one's that? What's that one actually called? That's not my urn. This is my urn. Brondel. Brondelda does not have the HP. It's nice. Oh, well, I was not too handy like I thought I was. <laughs> Unfortunate. Scary. Scary. I don't know what to use here. This is a This is an interesting situation because there's two very damaging ashes of war behind me. <laughs> that can maybe one shot me depending on the situation. Gotta watch out for sniper boy. Ah. What? The first, like, that was going to be, like, one of those longer Dale invasions, I can tell. And I'm deeply saddened that that failed. I was about to try to do an explosion between them. <laughs> yeah, that didn't seem like two minutes, right? There's no way that was two minutes. I was like, oh, was that steam? Hold up. No, it wasn't steam. Although there is going to be steam maintenance today, closer to like 7 p.m. I think. But what the hell was that? That was some baloney. Yeah, Rune Greatsword is. It is a strength intelligence based weapon though, so you'd have to use it more towards strength int. You'd have that, the Meteoric Ore Blade. I do want to do that build as well though. Again. It was exactly two minutes? Really? Jeez, two minutes goes quick. What the hell? We walked like 10 feet in that battle. Yeah, I don't know. Steam maintenance is always like what? Around like 7 p.m. ish Eastern. It's hard for me to predict it. Sometimes it's earlier, sometimes it's later. Ooh, get. Oh, wow. Oof. This, this one's going to be interesting. I don't know how far it's going to come up. I never really get invaded here or invade here. This is scary. Oh, whoa. Whoa. May have made a grave mistake. Nope, we're good. I s Maybe. Okay, it's turning around there. That's good. I don't know. He's over here, I think. Banana, best cookout food. Hmm. That's tough. Give me some of your favorite options. I'm so bad at deciding on favorite foods. Oh no. These guys are making good time though. Hey there. Hey man. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> good attempt. Oh, you have a moon there. Oh! <laughs> Why did it all of a sudden decide to go further? 
<laughs> Wait, what? Like I was just living inside of it. Why was he fine? Hey, man. <laughs> Noodle, slow down. I want you to get hit by that. One more. Wait, did he fall? Yeah. Uh-oh. Not good. <laughs> nice. Oh. Face the wrath <laughs> of the horror loo. <laughs> Face your own katana. <laughs> Mr. Duck, Dip, Dive, and Dodge. <laughs> Very fun fight. Yeah, you know what I'm happy about now that you mentioned that, <laughs> Marissa, is uh, that the free aim's kind of similar to DS3. Like, it carried over. It's a little different when locked on, but unlocked is pretty similar. That's helped me immensely. The anti-moon veil is just my own moon veil. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I haven't really used the, the unsheath at all yet, though. Yeah, I really wish you could just buy pots. The crafting of them took so long. Me and Lost sat there crafting, like, while talking. Because <laughs> you have to craft them 10 at a time, then store them. Oh. Like, if you want enough to, like, have a, a good time invading, you make, like, 100 or 200, you know? Store them. It takes forever, though. It's not fun. Ah, uh, Gunner, thank you so much as well, man. I appreciate all the support today, guys. Honestly. Glad to be back to regular streams as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, I get sent home, don't I? A parting gift. I hope that hit you. <laughs> that was the thing I was talking about earlier. They drink the physic and they just Kamehameha the boss. <laughs> and it's over. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I haven't even used the grease as much. Again, you have to craft them and it's a pain. I'll probably take the time one day to craft like enough for like a stream and then make my backup save so we can use them on like the strength builds. Because they look cool when you buff the weapon. Even though they're not like, they don't add the most damage. They look nice. I do like them. Oh, the host died? Oh, you're right. It said host vanquished. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I don't know why I didn't even notice that. I was just watching the boss die. Sometimes I'm looking at the chat more than the screen. That was one of those times. Yeah. Uh, you have to craft them again. I mean, they're worth. If you take the time to craft them and set it up, use them. <laughs> they're, they're really only the best, I would say, on like the, the arcane weapons that allow sleep on them, I would say. Other than that, it's not the biggest damage buff. Just like bundles in Dark Souls 3. They don't last long either, so you have to aggress with it at that moment. Uh, a good farm spot for the resin is near the War Master's Shack. Oh! For which resin, though? Oh, you mean just for the things needed for the resins in general? Keep that noted. The one in Limgrave? Jeez, such an uprising of, like, the bots lately. What is this? At least, like, ten today. Retirement grease. <laughs> Can I get some of that? Hey, hey, a warming stone. That's interesting. You're trying to lure me? A good farm sport for resin is near the War Master Shack. Yuri, man, how have you been, dude? If you could pick one weapon for invasions, which one would it be? Overall, a balance. I would say if I could pick down to a type, I'd probably go Halberd. That's good poise damage, good stun, good chase down. I'd, I would pick things like Greatsword and stuff if they had the ability to chase someone down and finish them off. But 
Honestly, if you're fighting someone and they're 1 HP and they're trying to live, it's so hard to get the finishing hit with a greatsword. So, it'd have to be something that has a form of thrust attack, at least. Alright, boys, I want to I buff my Moonlight Greatsword. Hello there. Look, you're a wizard. Oh, I'm getting... No, I'm not getting hit by that. You were too slow, wizard. Look, I'm the non-casting wizard. Isn't that... I'm your counterpart. If you could pick one weapon for the invasion, which one would it be? And with which WA? Hmm, which with what, what weapon art? Hmm, that's tough. I think... I would probably go with a halberd and something with a zoning aspect to it. Like the Black Flame Tornado, um, Flaming Strike. I think those would definitely be some contenders, so I can handle being like aggressed by a team. And then I still get the good stun of the weapon. So that might be what I'd go with if I had only one choice. I could strafe this, but I'm already locked into rolling it. There we go. <laughs> okay, now. Now we. Oh! Can you not strafe that one? Hmm, sad. Okay. Now I'm here for the fight, sir. Here you go. I got surprises for you, wizard. One more surprise. <laughs> the surprise moon veil. Storm Stomp on Claymore is great too, though. On certain weapons, it's pretty good. Spent a lot of time talking there. Hang on. Let me just. Great Lance as well. You know what? Great Lance works. That would work. Halberd or Great Lance. Like anything with good stun that has a chase down attack, I would be all for. That way I can aggress when I need to. And you can. You have the AoE. Oh, that was an interesting looking one. You don't have that buff, sir. Thought that wasn't going to hit me. I just need to have a little bit of chip damage done to our teammate here. Or not our teammate, but you know. That should be good, right? And then if I moon bail, oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, he's smart. He's staying full health. Make them think I have a weak katana. Then go to the strong one. That was pretty rough to roll catch, but we did it. <laughs> Goodbye, boys. Good, good teamwork. <laughs> yeah, like, it, like they're not best for all situations, but at least like if you pick a great sword, you can't finish off an opponent. So like they have good damage, and you can put good ashes of war on them. But yeah, no, no chase down is rough. Even like a katana would be a better option if you only had one weapon at least, and you have like a running R2 thrust. It's tough, but in Elden Ring weapons that have a thrust attack, overall perform better than the, the counterparts that don't. Which is so interesting, because in Dark Souls 3, that wasn't really the case. Like, thrusts were good, obviously, but the hyper armor system with the other weapons let them outplay them when you knew what you were doing, so. Double Vikes, it's definitely up there. I would say the stat procs that actually like proc when someone's rolling and cause them a stun animation, they're they're definitely some of the stronger ones in the game for sure. Yeah, it mostly is because of the hit stun. You can't get true combos, like it's harder to roll catch with great swords because the hit stun's so small. Like most of the time you won't hit the secondary follow-up roll catch with a great sword. It's hard. Because like the timing for the roll catch just isn't as good as the old stun it had. That's where I would say I think DS3 is a little bit superior. I liked its its weapon hit stuns better, like the the longer stun for the greatsword compared to the lighter weapons. It definitely made them more valuable as weapons. Whereas spears and such had like barely any stun. Like you get a true combo still, but. Uh, if you did a running attack and stuff, the roll afterwards was very easy to do. Plus, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. The, the true combos just look so cool. Even though the damage, like, was it, like, sometimes you can do a one attack in Elden Ring that will out damage a combo from Dark Souls 3, but they looked so cool. Like Gale's great sword. Yeah, the mace was great. Chaos. Here it's, it's not. <laughs> but, yeah. 
different weapons reign supreme in Elden Ring for sure. <sighs> yeah, there are some with uh, two different weapons. Like, yeah, how you can crouch poke into uh, catch flame and stuff like that. That's something you can do. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can Colossal Sword stun into a Great Hammer, right? Heavy setup, but I mean, that's pretty good. That's good burst damage. I forgot flails exist. I always do, because I never see them. The only one I've seen and have used from time to time was the Bastard Stars one, just for its Ash of War, right? <laughs> like... I haven't really used Endure, but if it performs the same as uh, Perseverance in Dark Souls 3, I'd say it has its place. Maybe you could use it to, like, poise tank someone doing a jump attack and backstab it. If you, It's all prediction, though. That's the rough part for it. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you have a pure int build and you have the, the stats for the Zvi poke into the slicer, that's so strong. You have the setup here. It needs max cast speed, right? I think. I just reset the world because it was stuck. <laughs> oh, true. I have seen people use those, like, perfumes, too. They give them the unlimited poise and just use the madness build-up thing. Something like that. There's a lot of, like, unique one shot or like easy kill setups you can do in Elden Ring I guess that's like very different Leonia of the lakes I have Horaloo Gwynblade hello Gwynblade Gwynblade can't even English use endure instead of storm stop yeah you could do that with some thrust weapons Gwynblade hello hello a straight sword. I've seen a few more people using straight swords lately. Wonder why that is. Poison build. He does have um, regen. I'm trying to see here. If I did this randomly, would he be prepared? Yes, he was indeed prepared. Some good old fashioned. Now I wonder, can you easily punish if I do that? The stun on it is so long that he can't even punish it, can he? Whoa, packet loss. Damn. Fun fight, I love that he had the Ruin Great, did he have it in his pocket? Did this man have the Ruin Great Sword in his offhand? <laughs> he was gonna pull that out at some point and surprise me, wasn't he? There are some weapons I very much so miss, though. And yeah, we're definitely going to play some Dark Souls 3. They, they do have some more unique weapons. I love the Black Knight Great Axe in that game. So cool. So many combos. So fun. Things like that. They didn't bring any like more of these. I don't know. They both have their bonuses. Kill Yeah, Black Knight, like, it wasn't the best weapon, you know, but it was it was cool when you knew what you were doing with it. Yeah, they really did, because, like, if you happen to land something with a Great Axe, the hit stun was so long, you can kind of set up for the secondary roll catch, you know? It helped it out a little bit. In this game, because they didn't want to allow, like, swing combos, like, R1, R1, they made the hit stun so short that, like, it's... It's hard to say it's worth it to trade with, like, some of the Colossals, you know, since you can't do a follow-up anyway. They get out of the stun. In terms of PvP, for sure. <laughs> is it pronounced Cestus or Cestus? I'm pretty sure it's, like, Kaistus is the real one. But I'll always say Cestus, just because it's too late for me. It's far too late for me. You thought me and little Aggie were the same person. Really? We have similar voices. Interesting. Got that from another uh, content creator as well. But I think it was someone who does uh, first person shooters. Uh, weapon swap, like, yeah, I think there's some offhand animation ones. Not the same aspect that you can, like, R1 swap and then get the R1 animation of the sword. Not really like that. Just the Ashes of War. I think there's a few unique ones that have it. Which are constantly being patched out, so I'm not sure which ones exist still. 
I missed, yeah, the simple and the blessed infusion were nice. Estus, Cestus. <laughs> yes, that's what I say. Hmm, one of these longer loading screens. Oh, Liurnia again. Is it going to be Orin the Blue? Sir Orin the Blue, yeah. Hello, Orin. Am I missing out on some cosplay here? I see I see a, a literal blue phantom, I think. Hang on. Unless there's another invader in here. I don't know how there could be a blue over there. There is, though, I think. Hey, man. <laughs> oh. Uh, like, am I, what am I missing here? Oh. Yeah, see, I thought there was a blue. My question remains, how is there a blue here before me? Unless there's another red here. Then, okay, I can see that being the case, but... Hmm. Hang on. I wasn't ready for a fight. I was looking at Sir Orn the Blue. Hmm. Okay. Just wanted to pull that one out. Hello, Blue. How are you? Let's do it. I wanted to try out this setup in a 1v1. Dual, dual curve swords, but like the nebula in the offhand. Because then you could like apply a little bit of range pressure, you know? Do this if they try to trade into it. Zone it. It's pretty. That's okay. This is a good test. Yeah, it doesn't seem so bad as a setup. Whee! Oh, I wanted to do this. That was my bad. Wait, what? Oh, there was another invader here. Oh. Okay. Maybe he'll get like another teammate. This could become a war. We'll be patient with this one. For the fun of it. Yeah, seems like it would. It could be decent with the wake up. You might have to be back though. Maybe another blue will get in here. Oh, oh! I guess Sarah is not wearing much clothes. To be honest, eee, that's close. Hello, I'm back. You did well, Sarah. I'll give Sarah a bow. Why is Sir Owen chilling? <laughs> we can fight here. Must be some lore character. Whoa, oh, I thought he jumped off. I'm coming, Orn. Um. <laughs> sneaky! <laughs> I like it though. Very sneaky. Oh, sad. <laughs> He's got his plays. I like it. I like it. What about this? Oh, I was trying to see if it would work in that general direction. The chip damage is really the best thing this has going for it. Oh, it doesn't fire the energy beam, actually. I know that now. Very fun fight, or in the blue. Very cool build. <laughs> the surprise bush giant hunt could have been cool. Oh uh, yeah, I had enough poise to tank the uh, curve sword. Forget the amount for the curve sword, actually.
Yeah, the, I think the frozen needle is one of the ones that actually does shoot the faint shot, which is nice. This doesn't. Missed opportunity. It should. It comes out quick though, I guess. And it does get the fully charged double slash one, so. I guess it has a lot going for it for like chip damage. <laughs> it's all my dex titles, you know? It confuses the bots. They think they're in the right place. They're not, though. They lack the dex power. <laughs> the beans. Have... I'm getting a pizza today, so I don't think I'll be having beans, but, you know. I did have a burrito yesterday. I've honored the beans. Curved warrior. Melina. Let me chunk you. No. <laughs> I was sent home. <laughs> Long live the burrito. That melon is pretty cool. Her moveset's interesting. And I do like the heel tree she puts down. No. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they're gonna be even more regular. Uh, I was, I just, we had like Canadian Thanksgiving yesterday, and um, kind of threw off. I'm usually gonna be live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, no matter what, and then maybe extra days depending. Did I? I did try Overwatch too the other day. Yes, I did. It's pretty good. I haven't played Overwatch in like six years, so <laughs> it was fun. Oh, Marissa, Nya, hello. I guess I can invade, unless you changed your uh, invasion range. I don't know. Hey! It might have been. Let's do it. Get your bubble tier. Oh, I, I don't think I, um, I don't think I have the weight limit to do wield a great sword, do I? No. No, I don't. That is okay, though. I will use the death poker. It is beauty unmatched. Whoa. Oh. I did not see that you didn't have that. <laughs> I am Chase the Unobservant, so that's totally fair, right? I am known for my unobservant ways. I was actually debating going for a backstab, but sometimes you just don't know. Wow, the R2 has really good range. <laughs> Blinded! Oh, great frostbite buildup. We're both using some frost curve swords. Oh. I queued the wrong thing. Ugh. Ugh. Can you use this? Uh, I guess the light attack one is the the fire. Oh. Oh, it chipped a little bit. I wonder how good the frostbite buildup is on it compared to like things like the claymore. Oh, what the? I actually honestly didn't think I would get that. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. Maybe this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing fight though. I love your armor actually. Wait, is it? It's the. Everybody does love the scaled chest piece. Isn't it the best looking for the poise, I guess? The other choices are all like. They're okay. GG though, that's fun. Frostbite Greatsword War. Yeah. I was looking at chest pieces recently. And like the, the better ones, eh. The veteran set looks eh. This chest piece just kind of form fits well. The rest are, this one's okay, I guess. I still prefer the, the scaled uh, without the cape, though. Yeah, the wolf armor is cool. Some of the cape ones look decent, too. Like, the the one that boosts your jump attack, pretty good, but you have to, like, build pretty heavy around it because it's a lighter chest piece. Yeah, some are, some are really good. I feel like maybe the highs and lows of Elden Ring are different. Like, this is maybe, like, a really good-looking armor set, and the rest are eh. And then, like, the Soul series kind of had, like, good across the line. I'm trying to think of the best-looking armor set in, like, Dark Souls 3. None are, like, godly looking, you know what I mean? But they're pretty good across the board. Yeah, what I got into, like, towards the end of, like, the Dark Souls 3 before Elden Ring released is they, they started releasing a lot of client-side retexture mods so you could change the way your armor looked. I did that all the time. And it would only change it on your client so no one else would see it. So you can make like anime capes and stuff. It's pretty cool. 
That'd be a type of like mod thing that would be cool for Elden Ring, but I don't know if they could ever do it since they do have like the anti-cheat and stuff. The bat, yeah, like things like the Batman set, Sam. <laughs> you could like change your armor to look like Batman on your screen. That was funny, honestly. Those were great. I love those. Altus Plateau. Wow. Wait, are we in the... I think I know where we are. The Snow Witch. Interesting area for the Snow Witch. Hello. Hello. That's fair. True to your name. I'm dodging that pretty consistently. Maybe that tree will help. Indeed. Indeed, that tree did help. Whoa! Oh, there's another invader here. Oh, I didn't know. Well, why didn't you say so? I see you have a moon veil in your hand, Snow Witch. Let me just treat you to the experience you give others. <laughs> <laughs> this must be fun. <laughs> that poor red, I'm sorry. I was memeing a bit with that. What the hell? Wait. Is he still here? Just hidden? Yo, he did something. That was like a bleed arrow. Oh no. Maybe he was just very laggy? That's a possibility, right? I guess I have. I will know when I hit this phantom. No, yeah, not that laggy to me. I'm a little confused. I'm very confused. Okay. Maybe the red was laggy. That's a possibility. I was thinking that as well. Can I heal now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, you don't want to ignore me. I have a little gift here for you if you ignore me. There you go. Come this way. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't seem overall laggy. I guess it could have been the red. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure the range on like plus 19 versus... Yeah, it's tough to zone the wizard because he just does that. You know? Kind of like guaranteed chip. Which is pretty annoying. I might actually regroup and put my regen on. It's the only thing I can think of to counteract that. That should be good enough distance. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Maybe not good enough distance. There we go. Now good enough distance. Oh, hey, Red. <laughs> Is that aimed at me? Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Reds, man. Reds. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. He, he, all right, well, now I'm going to make you chase me and spend all your time chasing me. Until I can isolate that red. Just to make him pay. Absolutely maidenless behavior. How? How did that do 90 damage? Sometimes the moon veil be failing me. Okay, I think this guy is mega laggy. I feel like going through him. Hmm. 
Did the sun bro die? Hmm, perhaps he did. Just your head, dude. Hosty, wait your turn. I have a thing I must do to this red. That is the thing we must do to the red. Oh, the sun bro was alive. Where were you creeping? I can kill the Sunbro quick as well if the wizard wasn't there just chipping me. But the wizard is trying to get around with the moon veil, so we're not gonna let that happen. Maybe they'll grow tired. Nice. A not traitor red. Perfect. That's just what we need. Hopefully, I don't have to kill the red again. <laughs> That's all I ask. That's all I ask. I don't think they summoned the red or anything. I don't know if Haiti can handle it. Oh, oh yes, another moon veiler. Count me in, moon veil brother. Let the moon veils fly. <laughs> Let them fly. <laughs> Good teamwork, Katie. Beautiful. The best teammate I could ask for after the trader. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like I get a trader red once in a while. I'm just like, why? They're like hiding in a bush, letting you get ganked. And then the second you find them, they attack you. They're like, oh, well, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's a 2v1? Oh, uh, let me join in. They'll never stand a chance against all three of us. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't. Good work, Marmo. Hell yeah. I love that you also brought in a Moonvale. That's what they deserve. They deserve that. T pose to assert domination, yes. Yeah, there was like that other invasion that was like a red came in shield poking. And like I was running in with him and he's behind me and I'm like attacking the team and I'm dodging. I'm like, what's this? It was almost hitting me. I look behind me, he's just like shield poking me. <laughs> For like a minute, I didn't even realize he was like behind me targeting me. Friggin' traitor reds. <laughs> oh yeah, those are fun. Amelia! Hey, I think I have a character named that. It's a pretty name. Are they all the way down? Ooh, hello. Hello there. What is that way? So is that the only way down there? Wait. Oh, they went somewhere else. A red? A blue. Hey, hey. Hey, I'm over here. Why can't I throw that while I jumped? Can you not throw them while you jump? The Mega Strami, hello. I see you right there waiting to ambush me, wizard. 
<laughs> I see you. Wait. Is there a red here? Ooh, got backstabbed. I'm so confused. This could be a full chase down because I don't have the stam to survive it. There we go. Somewhat. I dodged the blood loss, thankfully. Didn't dodge that, though. Okay. <laughs> I saw someone get backstab damage up there, so I really thought it was somebody else. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. That was accidental. What? Oh, wow. That's rough. I got hit by the stupid thing. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't want to be standing in the middle of the this. Sounds like a bad time. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, God, that can hurt me as well. Oh, Jesus. This is anarchy. Literal chaos. <laughs> well, I'm somehow getting lucky and not getting hit by the boss. This is fair. Fair game for me. <laughs> oh, man. This area is crazy. I often don't get invasions right there, so... That's friggin' funny. <laughs> First PV almost kills me, then it saves me. Life is a balance. Got hit by the damn artillery. I did like half my HP, I think. And the boss almost finished me off. <laughs> oh, we already went back to resummon. Wow, okay. I see you sitting here waiting at the corner. This is your power alone, huh? Truly magnificent. <laughs> That's right. Cast angry. You failed. You failed. Ah, <laughs> uh, the PV. Yeah, it's honestly uh, everything in there can hit you. Apparently, from what I just experienced, but. <laughs> can also save you, so that's fair. Oh man, Rasmus. Thank you so much, man. I wish you a quick recovery, though. How did that happen? I'm told those are one of the easier things to break. I've actually never had a friend or family that has experienced that, though. My only injury, I tore my ACL, so I think it's the only surgery I've ever had. Hey, man. Wow, Dragon, I'm being nice. I come into this invasion all kind, only to get attacked when I'm waving. Salsa. Yes, yes. yes. Oh my god! That did so much damage in a true combo. Why? I shouldn't true combo. I was being nice when I came into this. I wasn't even prepared. And now I'm gonna kill you. Nice. <laughs> nice. I was being nice to you. Oh, you have a moon veil? Let's go. Everyone has a moon veil. <laughs> 
Whoa, it's a dragon. Oh my god. All right, well, goodbye. <laughs> Come in there all kind. <laughs> Only to get dunked on. Thank you so much, the Erasmus, man. Again, I, I hope it goes. I hope you heal well. They missed the follow up to that. Yeah, that's true. The Clean Art Knights can buff you. Don't even want to think about laughing. Fair. <laughs> Keep that stomach not tensed. They do a lot of damage, yeah, because they're thrusting attacks, and in general, they have pretty high AR, so... They're definitely some of the harder-hitting ones. Use the Moon Veil. <laughs> yes. The int builds true power. Moon Veil. And I actually like this thing for crowd control. Should have named this Moon Veil. I mean, that's what Dex Int is, let's be real. <laughs> Let the moon veil flow through you guys, yes. Lightning talisman with the physic. Oh yeah, you could have the lightning physic active as well. He was a really high level phantom though, I think, which made it hit harder. So pair that with the buffs, that'd be scary. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, there's only been a few raw breaths. I have to say, the less today than every other stream though. I am. Um, I don't know why that is. More moon veils though, and it's kind of funny because I have it, so I bring it out. <laughs> I see them with it. The irony is pretty good. Yoshido. Oh, hello. Hi there. Interesting. This could be Horalu potential. Oh! Wow. Wow. Amazing. Truly. <laughs> this is why you whore loo. Aggressive heal. Aggressive heal. Holy. Oh, there's some fast rolls there, man. Are those faster than usual? Is he light rolling? What's up with this? Those are really quick. They're hard to roll catch. There we go. Goodbye, boys. No one puts Horalu in a corner. That's funny. They don't expect the Horalu halberd. It's even more surprising when it's on a thrusting sword. <laughs> Black Flame would be good in that situation. Having those beside each other would be good because they get stunned down and then you just run do the Black Flame as I wake up. That could be good. But I can't use Black Flame Tornado on my int build, sadly. Can't int infuse it. They see me rolling. <laughs> yeah, what did I have it on? I had it on some rapier, I think. I had it on the... Oh, the Ansper. <laughs> it worked pretty well. Can't deny the powers of the Ansper. Oh, uh, this character is level 90. This is actually the longest in between time for the invasions. They've been pretty instant today. It's been really good. The Ansper. What's on this one? Spinning Slash? Yeah. Next stream, I think I might do Faith. It's either that or Arcane and something like Strength Arcane, Dex Arcane, or Faith. Whatever one I can get ready easier, I suppose. I'm surprised the one Sunbro got hit by the second wave of that, though. Yeah, the only faith I've done is... Well, I did faith, but it was a melee faith build. I didn't have incantations. So yeah, that's what I have to set up. I've also never used any of the dragon spells, you're right. The dragon breaths. <laughs> They're evil. Ooh, this is an interesting invasion spot. 
They're burning the plant. Not the wildlife. John Elden Ring, no. Look what you're doing, John. Wah. Wah. Oh. I didn't even see the host. Jeez. How long were you there? Whoa. Whoa. You were blending in, Morgana. I did not see you. There goes Morgana. Oh, what was the packet loss? <laughs> Moonvale. When they have Moonvale, I have Moonvale. Was he always there? <laughs> Was he in the poison spores? I did not. I did not see it. <laughs> That's funny. Hey. I just got surprised moon veiled, okay? It was a heart wrenching moment for me. I'm back to see Chase having rough decks with the wizard juices. <laughs> I'm more of a dexy wizard, I guess, yes, that's true. I don't have any of their wizard powers, but I am claiming their juices as my own. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was so kind. Also, a good inspiration for a title in the future. Hello there, Drew. That's actually a really nice area. It's just so barren. Alright, Drew. Oh, that's me trying to shake my weapon. Now, let's see. How will Drew approach this? I feel like he's going to be asleep. The end of Drew. <laughs> that may have been a little mean, but I had the swords out already. I wanted, I wanted to do the combo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Drew. <laughs> this is stupid. Some combos are very strong on the end build. I specifically put it beside it to try that out, but you know, it's also evil. Waves of Darkness would be good too, actually. I could probably put that on the... Yeah, I can put that on the Colossal. We'll do that next. Ooh, Noxtella. Hello. I'm trying to jump off the cliff? What's happening here? R2. Wish I had a little bit more range. Hello there. I'm just gonna walk away from that. That sounds like a plan. Look at the transient glow. It's beauty unmatched. <laughs> Pretty damaging. Oh, almost a snipe. Hey. Oh. Go get him. <laughs> this guy keeps getting hit by that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, oh. Truly beautiful, the Moonlight Greatsword is. Oh, it's the hill, huh? Okay. Come back here. Face the wave of blue and the follow up wave of blue. Okay, well. Moses, early! Yeah, I fought him earlier. Oh. Well, I guess I won't see Moses again, but hello. Goodbye, guys. Oh, there's Moses. Whoa, Moses. You're doing damage, Moses. <laughs> wave of cold. That's good. Much preferable to the wave of gold. Yeah, he almost got there. Moses was late. His name lied. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Please don't find an invasion before I do this. Ways of darkness. Magic or cold? Magic, I guess, huh? Since the scale's off it. Try that out. 
<laughs> Wave of balls. <laughs> yeah, it actually is a really good uh, outnumbered Ash of Ore as well. Gets them off of you. Sleep into Black Flame Tornado would work. I don't know if the startup is fast enough, but because it's an AoE, even if they wake up, they might roll out and get hit by it. If you do it close to them. That's something I'd have to try. Gwyn El Imposter. Alright, Gwyn Imposter. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> well, it was fancy surprising you guys. That did a lot of damage, actually. I gotta go back and look at that. I don't think I've used Waves of Darkness on an actual intelligence build. Was that like a lot? It seemed like a lot. <laughs> we are boosting the magic damage of the Physic as well, actually. What does my AR on this go to? From 660 to 738. AD damage. Nice. They had 1200 HP still. It did 1200 HP? That's, that's a lot for an Ash of War. Well, I guess not all Ashes of War, but. Oh, yeah, the follow up R2 actually works now. Forgot about that. <laughs> I'll definitely try that if they get hit by the first initial stun one. Oh, I did hit the one host with the sword, you're right. He walked into the actual thrust into the ground. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it might be worth it for the faith build for me to start a faith class. Uh, I guess the Vagamon's pretty good. But I know the hero would be like very optimal for a strength faith build. And I haven't run one of those yet. I hope it's another dungeon area. Oh, this is not the best for waves of darkness, but we'll try. Lord of Astora. Alright, this is some epic battleground. A hill with a thunderstorm. Hello there, you must have a teammate, Lord. Hey! You do, he's... I don't know where he is. Eat the crab. Our final battle in the thunderstorm. I'll begin! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try to find an opening for Waves of Darkness. My thrust versus your thrust. <laughs> All right. I could also pull out a claymore to make this more balanced. I don't know if he missed or what happened, but... <laughs> that was weird. Come into this. <laughs> it's here waiting for you, Lord of Astora. Straight sword. Okay. Katana! <laughs> uh, I have a straight sword, but it's not as honest as yours. This is my only straight sword, though. What do you have? Alright, Halberd. I'm down for that. I mean, that's a great spear, but... Take it too long in your menu. You gotta be quicker. <laughs> you gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> Pebble. <laughs> One bite, though. Lord of the Sora. Looks like Solaire. Yeah. I like the armor setup. A Solaire ish looking knight. A true anime battle. <laughs> Dex with Chase? It's it's like blue Dex, which is which is just int. Leonardo. Thank you. I don't know, people ask me that a lot in Elden Ring if I prefer like the dex variants or builds or strength. I, I think I think I like the strength variants. Just for the like the weapon variety. You can still use a lot of the weapons that are on dex builds, I guess except for katanas. You can use the meteoric ore blade, I suppose, but you need some intelligence. 
But other than that, you get most weapon classes. Even thrusting swords, the clean rot, uh, knight sword, works well on a strength build, so. Whereas, like, the only colossal, I guess, you can use on, like, decks is the... This is Vihander, I guess. You get the katanas, though, I guess. It really comes down to if you want to be having a variety of katanas or not, I guess, for the build. Yeah, I usually go, like, if I'm limited for stat points, I'll go, like, 54 strength and 17 decks. I like having the godskin stitcher. It just looks nicer. It's like the nicest looking heavy thrusting sword. My favorite Elden Ring, or Elden Ring weapon overall? I don't know if I have one. I always talk about like the classes that I think I like the most that perform the best for the way I play. Uh, it's like Great Spears or Halberds for me, I think, in general. I don't have like a favorite out of them. Maybe the Lance, I guess, because it's infusible for the strength build. I have that on most of my builds. Although the, the choices of Great Spear are very limited. Pretty sad. Well, a lot of them require faith. You have the Tree Spear. The Silurias one, the Vikes War Spear. Um, my missing one that's Faith. So many of them are Faith requirements for the heavy, uh, the Great Spears. Yeah, and Horolu works really well on Strength Builds, and it's funny. Yeah, only the Lance is infusible, right? They even have the Tree Spear. It's like a plus 25 weapon, but you can't infuse it. And it needs Faith, so. Yeah, Faith kind of has, like, a lot of things in this. You don't notice it at first, like, wi like Wizardry, I guess, has good sorceries, but... Hello there, guys. How are you? Uh, Cassian. Priest of Ilmat. I'm just going to risk it and buff this. Worth the risk. It actually comes out pretty quick. That's the Ash War beside me. This is for you. Another one for you. Ah. Huh. Not the discs. Oh, wait, that's the baby disc. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's that. That's right, yes. Can I strafe that? You can. It has waves of, like, three, but you can't strafe it, yes. The poor skeleton. He tried his... Oh. Whoa. Some of the incantations are actually really cool as well. And knock those. Oh, you can roll out of that? Cool. Don't know if that was worth it, but it did look cool. <laughs> Come here. Give me that backstab, boy. I wanted to follow up. I tried. It's feeling like some Dark Souls 3 gameplay, so let me just... Get you out the sky. This is for your partner. <laughs> what? I feel like they jumped the magic wave damage, which is pretty funny. Okay, we have a decent connection because that didn't hurt me. Yeah, the, yeah. Me and me and Priest of Ilmat do not have a very latent connection, which is nice. Hmm. <laughs> Surprise! Ah. Uh. <laughs> I thought I'd use some energy beams. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> no free healing. <laughs> That's not how this works. Oh, jeez. Good damage, though. Out of nowhere. Oh, no. The giant fireball. That always scares me. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, what? Jump. Nice. What about the Wing of Astel? <laughs> I'm very happy that pushed you out of the sky. Okay, okay. Um, my left fear, I have magic defense. I'm going to go more physical weapons. I'm going Halberd. <laughs> that was wacky looking. Pillars, guide me. 
<laughs> Poor Lou, never not amazing, honestly. Come back here. You're parried. Come here. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a fun fight. They were like all around me. It was a good one. Just like that, you land the horror Lou. They're not expecting it. Whoa, instant invasion. Okay. It's my sword. There we go. Good old horror Lou. If you don't use it constantly and you pull it out, it catches people off guard. Definitely worth it. The Ool Palace Ruins again. Desaria. Hey, this is the, the Moonvale person, I believe. To my knowledge. Let's get some Frostbite going. I haven't gotten full Frostbite set up here. My offhand has Bloodhound Step. Okay. Mega Strawmy, hello. Hey, you were a blue earlier. This is a different host, though. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Double halberd. Woo! Woo! That's dangerous. Got the power of turrets on your side. Whoa! I did. I did. I duck that. I don't quite know how that worked. Right, it's getting a little bit too cramped in this tiny little hole here. Oh, weak Moonvale though. I didn't even have the defense ring on. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't weak at all though. That hurt. Okay, maybe that's why his hits on me are weird. A little bit of latency there. Thrust! <laughs> Gotta mix it up or else I'm gonna dodge it every time, man. Well, Lowe's just died. Unfortunate. <laughs> you would have dragon breath! <laughs> he would. <laughs> He's got a moon veil and the dragon breath. He got the whole kit. <laughs> Unfortunate. The wizard does very good damage, but 700 HP. Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, the mod. Most of them are pretty hard to land. It's just the dragon breath that are like, here's a blanket AoE that... <laughs> is going to hit you no matter what if you're in range. You have to be like the right distance to run away from it or you have to be like close enough them to stun them. If you're like distracted for a second fighting a teammate and they start it, well, you're getting hit. Unless they don't know how to like free aim it and you run to the side, but for the most part, it'll hit you. Uh, it can chaos. It's not a true combo, so it's random. Like, sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. I don't understand why, from what I've tested. Me and Lost did that. He was able to roll that sometimes, sometimes he wasn't. I think it might be the frame of which you get hit by the halberd. So, like, if it's towards the end, it might stun you long enough. But if it's not, it won't. It's weird. Yeah, I do have a plus eight, Jitty. So maybe maybe I would get even faster if I swapped to the plus eight. I mean, we could try that. This is plus nine. I don't know. Like, what do we invade down to? Ninety goes down to like eighty, one ish. What weapon level do most people have at eighty? Because I think we can invade down to plus seven. I just kind of assumed that's what they would have. Do I play much off stream? Not really. Not in a little bit. I did, like, when the game first came out, I was exploring and, like, learning the areas, but uh, not recently, no. Most of the showcases that I record, and then uh, I just, like, fix up my inventory for my builds. Oh, wait, it's Drew again! <laughs> okay, we're not going to Moonvale Drew this time. Uh, 
What the? I have no idea what you're doing, Drew, but you need you need to go to the grace point, sir. <laughs> what the heck? What is that HP? <laughs> Why is he being invaded? <laughs> I think he's AFK, but like, man, his health. <laughs> Drew had like a, a f like a fraction of his HP. Oh, the sweet spot mechanic. Uh, I don't know. I feel like scythes, maybe. Halberds? I don't know. Hanzo. This guy's been playing Overwatch too. <laughs> Hello there, little stinker. Meet the big stinker. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, what did so much damage to me? That was not his halberd. Ah, it was the bow guy. I see, I see. Okay, we're gonna deke back this way. Oh, there's three of them as well. I see. Okay, we're in a very bad position here. Lightning arrows? Is that normal? That's a dead end. We don't go in there. Yes. Okay, no. Not good. Okay. That arrow is going to get old real fast. I don't know what's happening to Edward back there. But I'm thankful. You have a misconception about how scary you are. <laughs> it is just because you have two friends behind you. <laughs> you shouldn't have chased me that far. Hello there, arrow guy. Oh, he is light rolling. Okay. So with the light roll, we are going to pull out a halberd. So that is needed. Did I just get an aim punch from an arrow? Oh, it's Hanzo. Of course he's using an arrow. <laughs> I didn't even really think about that. That's cool, though. Oh, I like it. I'm just trying to see, like, how well you can roll catch it. Okay, so you can. It's a little difficult, but you can roll catch it. As long as I strafe to the side, I probably am dodging the arrow. Kind of in like a, a pace here of. I bet you this might actually be useful. First time a dagger is useful. If he rolls by me at all, I can get him with it. Oh, is that combo? That's pretty cool. Hmm. Fun fight though, Hanzo. Yeah, the arrows are kind of... Yeah, that's my first time fighting someone really, like, full using it. So I was just trying to, like, be aggressive and see how well you can punish it. You can strafe it, but if they timed their jump attack to punish you, they could, it seemed like you got a true combo off that. Again, I think it's mostly because of the fast roll. That has helped the bow a lot. If you couldn't get the distance on the fast roll for the arrow, it wouldn't work. Yeah, it's hard to punish because of the light roll, but that has helped out a few weapons quite a lot. A little too much, not the bow, obviously, but like some weapons that use it are rough. Yeah, you, it seemed like he comboed a headshot, right? It stunned me, and then he got a follow-up arrow in me. That's pretty cool. Just by jumping, I guess, it increases the odds of the headshot. Pretty cool. At least bows can be useful. Oh wait, bows don't have scaling? I haven't really used that. I haven't been like a pure, a pure bow build. I'll have to try that out one day.
There's a three arrow combo. Damn, that's damaging. And not by like the pulley crossbow or something you mean, right? Like three actual just arrow shots. Oh, they scale just very poorly. Oh, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I've seen some people do like kind of like one shot bow builds. Is it with the Radon bow where they have the gravity arrows and like they buff up beforehand, shoot them on unsuspecting people? <laughs> that's pretty cool. You don't see that a lot. It's interesting. Oh, in the Volcano Manor. Okay. Oh! Well, welcome to me, I guess. That's gonna explode. I don't know what the radius is on it, though. Oh, that's not gonna explode, it's lava. Oh man, no health on you. No, I don't want the backstab. Why? Why? What I do want is this, though. <laughs> oh, now you're out of juice, wizard. I'm not gonna allow you time to get your juices filled. No, no. No free juices. <laughs> what can I do? Let's do a little blocks him in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just knew he was going to attack there. <laughs> that one was a little bit evil, but it's because you fired at me the second I turned around the corner. Wizards. <laughs> he pew pewed me before I said hello. That's what he gets. More cannon. Yeah, I guess yeah, I was just thinking of fun things that strength belts have. They have the cannon. You can use it on this, but like. Cannon is cool. Int has, I guess, Moon Veil, Moonlight Great Sword. This, this, the Death Poker is really cool. We got some cool team kills with this today. Has the good AoE explosion. Yeah. Yeah, Int might have the highest, like, burst damage output. Uh, not today, actually. We could try out the steeple. Uh, one sec. Just gonna block. There we go. Get out of here, Mr. Bot. No, the Royal Light Greatsword's more of, like, a strength one. So when we do the strength build version, we could do it. Oh, hello. I am a god. <laughs> you missed me. <laughs> Went right through me. Um, I'm going to be needing some really good burst damage here. Oh, unfortunate. Okay, he's got frostbite build up. I gotta watch out for that. Hang on. I think he's going to stay aggro on me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That actually did really good damage. Mostly because every time I swap to the Moon Veil, I think I'm holding... Oh, Waves of Darkness. Hold on. That might be a death. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we were either going to get a triple kill out of that or a death. And they all happened to, like, Ash of War me at the same time. It was worth it for the attempt, though. Uh, yeah, the Steeple has the Frostbite buildup. We could do that. <laughs> Rip. Sometimes you gotta go for that though. The triple kill clips are kind of worth it. They really, they really heighten the video if you do get it, you know. We got one today. Well, we killed the host and hit the phantoms, but I don't think I've got a full triple kill yet today. Oh, did we? No, we got we got two and almost the host with the Horolu. I haven't got a triple. I got a double kill with this today. Not a triple though. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like the Royal Knight Greatsword deserved Frostbite buildup. Would have been good. It does have the it has the potential to one shot though with its Ash of War, but Oh no. Oh no, guys. Oh. Oh, wait. Actually. Hold up. My analog is so touchy. Oh, is it not far enough? Prediction shot. Damn it. I don't know the arc with the talismans on. It's confusing a little bit. <laughs> I'm sniping. Well, the host. Oh, wait. Is the host still standing over there? I think he is. No. <laughs> That is the longest snipe I think I've ever hit. I don't think the fire ones go as far. No, they don't. Yeah, the lightning ones definitely get higher arc. <laughs> Damn it. I really want to hit that. Oh! I could like aim for the ground around him, but like it'd be so satisfying to oh, actually hit him. <laughs> Damn it. I'm a stage hazard. Yeah, there's a blue somewhere. I could go over there. I was having fun with that, but... I do want to land the waves of darkness as well. <sighs> Is it even faster? Oh, he's got a bow! Hold up. Oh, I'm vulnerable after. Hang on. This is a unique fight. Confident Mr. Arrow Wielder. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, get in that swamp, boy. <laughs> you gonna live in there. That's your new home. <laughs> you die today, arrow wielder. Wait, did he not have like a hair of HP? Nice, I got it. <laughs> nice. Wait, is there another one there? Well, that's a plan. <laughs> uh, okay, so the host is over there. Wait, the host is over there. What is happening? Ah, that's a journey, though. Uh, I'm kind of low on cannon shots. I think I just have to go to the host. Unfortunately. No. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Rock sling. Uh, is it even faster to Bloodhound step anymore? Like, I don't know, man. I, think I might just accept. Oh, no, this is some hefty Scarlet Rot. <laughs> I'll accept it for a little bit. Okay, I'm done accepting it. Oh, no. This one. Oh, 
man, yeah, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> hey, Gustavo. <laughs> I see you coming in here. Take a gift. Okay, I'll come fight you on your pillar. Hang on. Fine. I'm here, Gustavo. Me and you, man. Get out the pit. This is a sick battleground. Oh boy. What? Look what you've done, Blue. You've aggroed a boss. What have you done? Oh. R2. Oh. <laughs> well, you messed up, Gustavo. I'm going this way. Um. Ah. So much this <sighs> they made it build up way too fast I mean look at this the rate of build up oh my god it's crazy Wait, what? Didn't I? What? I'm so confused. Oh, I hate you, Mr. Host. <laughs> Stop moving around. <laughs> it's dangerous in here. Wait, let's at least boost the damage. Get in there. <laughs> Finally, I've accomplished my goal. That took a while. <laughs> I had the high ground. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. With the lava. That's good. That's really good. That's actually funny. That was actually a really funny invasion. Mostly cannon use, actually, yeah. We got a kill with the cannon. Two? Did we get two kills with the cannon? That's pretty good. Can't recall Obi-Wan using a cannon. Well, now, if you picture... The force push as a cannon, it works. Yeah, it's modern Star Wars. Even more modern than than their laser spaceships. We now have it went full circle, they went back to cannons. Yeah, on the cannons are like kinda it's nice. A lot of people do camp in areas you can't really get to sometimes. So uncivilized. <laughs> Bobbert. Um. Alright, Bobbert. Aw. I actually like invading in the caves. You get fogwalled here a little bit more, though. Sadly. <laughs> Jar Wars. Okay. <laughs> the dad joke award goes <laughs> to vacuum field. <laughs> Actually, I've never really done. Ah, uh, maybe I did do a Star Wars cosplay with the with the blue dagger in Dark Souls Three. Why do I always forget what it's called? I'll never remember the transforming one, the magic one. There's just some weapon names I just will always space on. Aquamarine dagger. There we go. Thank you. How could I forget this? I didn't use it much. Thank you. Yes, the Aquamarine Dagger. Yeah, it actually is really good. The damage up was really high when it transforms. Ooh, Arden. Ooh. Wait. 
Didn't we fight Arden before? I really want to wave. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight you with a clay or a great sword again, Arden. Or what, what do you want to use? It's up to you. Got a colossal. Maybe I'll use something like um, a scythe. Yeah, I haven't done much love with the vulgar militia shuttle today. I feel like it deserves some love. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you can put. That's pretty cool. And then the crouch poke with that will have a really fire air, really fast crossbow build up. Yeah. That could be very good. Almost. I dodged the frostbite. <laughs> it looks so interesting when you time it correctly and you know you're going to hit the dodge. Oh, the giant hunt roll catch. Yeah, honestly, jumping heavies have good stun timing to mix with that. Very fun fight, Arden. That's actually a really good idea, though, for a quick frostbite, because Colossals, man, they have really fast uh, stat buildup. Very fun fight, though. I actually like that. I might do that at one point. <laughs> you can't seppuku your colossal sword, right? That would look really anime, though. You just shove the giant great sword in you, like the gugs, you know? <laughs> That'd be terrifying, though. I'd probably bleed in one thrust. Tanko the wizard! Oh! That's not what I wanted. I'm sorry. I was trying to buff. Man, I really want to use the death poker. Hey, we're wielding the same thing. I do. Explosion! Oh, we're in this corridor? Ooh, but this is the horror loo time. What? What? Wait, did the host like die and like quit out right there? That was not two minutes. That is the only thing I could think of. Oh, unless... Oh, we went down for steam maintenance. No. <laughs> I think. Ah, why is it always when I'm in like a three-person invasion in like a dungeon or something that that kind of stuff happens to me? Oh, you deceived you from your invasion too? Okay, yeah, that was probably the steam thing. I can check it out, see if it was steam. Seems like it was. Yeah, there's way too many bots lately, honestly. Well, I'll go grab the souls that we jumped off of earlier. Where is that? In that general direction. I am so not of the seeing. <laughs> Where are they? Oh! <laughs> I am blind, honestly. Was it here? It is Tuesday, yeah. I normally don't stream on Tuesdays, but uh, because we had Thanksgiving yesterday, I didn't stream yesterday, so I really wanted to do one today with the int build. Oh, over there. Okay. We had ventured to get those. Yeah, I'd, I'd forgot when or where we dropped, to be honest. Was it, was it down? Damn. I'm trying to remember where... Oh, it's by the... Is it by the boss? Oh, it's the upward one. Okay. Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, wow. My natural enemy. Birds. <laughs> you know what they get? The moon veil. <laughs> That's right, Birdie. Come here. That's what I have for you. Is it this way? <laughs> Stupid birdies. <laughs> Goodbye, birdie. This is the birdie away in eater. Yeah, Janice, I thought so. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was on the Amelia. Oh, is it by the tree night? Oh, it's by the tree night. Oh. But then I can get there in a better way. Birds, hold up. I'm trying to remember where I met Mr. Birdies. Birds, you need to relax. Okay, birds. Okay. Okay. 
Birdie be gone 3000, yes. I was looking on the map on the side. <laughs> What's the closest... The, okay, well now I can just go grab those, I guess. They don't really matter. I just wanted the glowing thing gone. <laughs> birds. I swear to God. My nemesis are birds. <laughs> three birds tougher than three players. Well, I wasn't trying to kill them, I guess. But they are definitely more threatening. <laughs> I just hate the friggin' glowing thing on my compass. I always confuse it for the host. Birds! Relax, birds. Relax. Relax. Whatever, I got ten minutes. I'll kill the birds. You deserve... What? What? B bird, but bird, please, please, sit bird. I'm gonna need you to stop moving. <laughs> I will cannon your ass out the air. Don't think I won't. <laughs> fall. I hope you die to fall damage. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> give, me my, give me my blue juice back. Okay. Honestly, it's just the tra <laughs> The tracking is honestly the Oh 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 Okay. Okay. One second. Did I just hear a doorbell? Hang on. The birds are just causing me to hear things. <laughs> well, you heard that too, right? What the fuck? There's no one at my door. <laughs> now I'm just confused. Wait, so wait. You guys heard a doorbell as well, huh? Is there anything in this area that makes that sound? No. Right? Now I'm just, uh, now I'm actually confused. You heard it. Okay, the game, the steam is back, but like, I'm, I'm a little confused about the doorbell. <laughs> I got ding dong ditched. I got, while I warp over here, I'm just gonna run up and make sure. <laughs> it's just, I swear. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thank you. I've been talking. Wow. That's funny. I was talking. Yes. I forgot I muted. <laughs> no one was at the door. We're all crazy. I don't even know if the doorbell actually rang or not. <laughs> I'm just invading muted. Maybe an imposter. Would have been interesting if you just never heard from me again. Just my stream left on. You have to pull one of those internet moves for you to locate me. I believe in you all, if that ever happens. I I swear I heard the doorbell ring. I know. Yeah, okay. Okay, maybe we're not crazy. Maybe. <laughs> the birds got me. 
<laughs> That's what they deserve. They deserve the moon veil. Just, you know, Taken, like the Taken movie. <laughs> but got to use the clues. There was a doorbell. <laughs> yeah, I have headphones on, but I swear I heard that so clearly. Mass hysteria. Oh, it's kind of like one of those... Uh, Oh, I always forget that they're called, what they're called. <laughs> like where a large amount of people believe something that well, was never true, but it seems like it was. Mandela effect? Yes, Mandela effect. I just thought about that. Like the Berenstein Bears. And I swear to God, I swear to God Looney Tunes was spelled like cartoon, not like music. I swear. I'm going to find some of you that remember what I remember. <laughs> Looney Tunes it was not spelled tunes like music. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, thank you. I definitely remember tunes like cartoon. Because <laughs> it was a cartoon. But I guess we're wrong. Oh, what a weird spawn. Yeah, Looney Tunes. They even like had the double O on both. Yeah, like, come on. What the heck? How do we all remember this wrong? It, it didn't actually happen. No, I'm from Toon Reality. I am. And there are some others. Just blanking on a few of them. We member. I'm from a different timeline slightly. Oh, I got altered in here. Uh -huh. Multiverse would be pretty dope, I agree. Yeah, Baron Steen versus Baron Stain. Yeah, it was definitely not Stain. <laughs> the Baron Stain Bears. I swear it was always S T E I N. Berenstein. Or else why would we all say Steen? Hey there. Hey guys, can I just, I'm just dropping in here. Oh, that's lame. Here. Ah, uh, ha. Direct me to you. How do I get where you are? I don't remember which tunnels to take. Rude. Oh, I could swing this this way. Aw. Uh. Right? Thank you, Robert. I swear, I still own some of them. I gotta find the books, see if they they got altered by the timeline. Okay, I'll use one more recusing finger. I gotta Google some of them, because some of them were like, there's no way. <laughs> the Monopoly man with the monocle? That one's hard for me to remember. I did play Monopoly, but I never really paid attention to what he looked like. Really? What is this spawn? What is this spawn? Hey, boys, come here. Horaloo. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I gotta go all the way around to get there, I think. Or up and around. <laughs> In jail. I don't get to collect my my two hundred dollars. I am in jail, I'm locked away from my prey. This way? Maybe. Ah, they sound close. Ooh, they just killed this. I just came to say hello. <laughs> hey, salmon roll. We've met before, sir. Let me just do this. You were a blue in an invasion of mine. I remember your seppuku. I remember you. Filthy Sapuku. Do you spell Toonies Toonies? No, no. I use the double O. <laughs> I don't know why they're called that, though. I don't know the lore of the Looney and the Toonie in Canada. I could have sworn it. Yeah, I know. Now you're gonna you're gonna have a crisis, Hayabusa. You're gonna be googling like I was. I was like, I swear to God, it was Looney Tunes. <laughs> oh, 
Looney Tunes. So sad. Thank you, Hayabusa. End call. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Jitty, you're off from a far different universe. <laughs> That's like a different quadrant. Small pee pee. Toonie loons? Oh, this way. Oh, up top by the boss, maybe? Oh, God, that's a journey. Yeah, that was the original reason for the Mandela effect, right? A lot of people thought he passed away in prison. Some other ones, though. You prefer the spelling of jail over jail. Fair. Looks more mystical. Hello there, sir. Where are we going? I also have one of those. I will pull mine out for you. This guy's got a tactic. Do you see this? He's fighting on the roof. He's the roof master. Shall I shall claim my roof. This is mine, exactly. Oh, that's such a good S. This punish, wow. Didn't even think about it. Whoa. Not the cliff, cliff. Oh, that's, that's actually a good idea. You can heal from there. Good job. No. You dare hit me out of the air? Oh, wait. A grandma's on my team. You gotta watch out for grandma. Oh, the free aim. Oh, the, cl the hill kind of ruined the roll catch. Oh, that was supposed to be a back step. Yeah, you gotta attack to get me off you. I'm made that way. <laughs> Die in the bushes. <laughs> Hello there. You ruined my small pee pee joke. I can't see him in the bushes. It's like the small pee pee. <laughs> we can cut that together and make it sound like it was all in one line. It's okay. <laughs> Emery, thank you so much. I need more anti wizard. Yeah, actually, you just remind me. I'm going to have the anti wizard spell. Good idea. <laughs> Smack. Smack. <laughs> Lou yeah, you're right. I think that was one of the ones that bothered me the most. It's not like I just I distinctly remember the like the breathing and then Luke, I am your father. And but it's it's no. I am your father. I could have sworn he said his name. But I also didn't watch a lot of Star Wars when I was younger, so that one's hard for me to weigh in on. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. I got I to gotta list some of those. We talked about that a long time ago, but I swear there's more that I thought about. That one's hard for me to remember, though. Some popular... No, he doesn't say Luke. It blew my mind. I was watching it, and I was like, wait, does he not say Luke? No, he doesn't. I'm just going to like look at some on the side here while we look for invasions. 50 Mandela effects. Worst article ever. They don't even have any. Okay. Drizzy University. All right. It's really bright. I wish all web pages just had the dark setting. Some are just the white setting. It's so bright. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall is just me magic mirror. Yeah. That that one is some baloney. Hey! That is mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> hey! Hello there, Drizzy. Uh, my biggest weapon is a colossal, and I don't want to use that on you because it's got the poke. What about? I'll use this. This is kind of slow. It can be pretty good though. Explosion! <laughs> Wait, Drizzy, why are you why are you heavy rolling? <laughs> we just we just trade. <laughs> nice. When two warriors of the L2 meet, the frostbite just happened to reign supreme. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go, you know, I'm gonna blindly ask people, what was that saying that the, the girl in Snow White said on the, to the mirror? I'm just gonna ask them. Bet you, like, 100% will say mirror, mirror on the wall. Not magic mirror on the wall. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> The, well, I meant the witch. The witch was the one saying it. The girl in Snow White. <laughs> I know, it is Magic Mirror. That is what it is if you look it up now. But I swear. There's a mass memory of everyone remembering Mirror Mirror. Do it for science. I will. I will get back to you next stream on my findings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you'd think, Blue Shell. Oh, hey. Sneaky! Very sneaky. Hey, it's Karina. Hello. Oh, you guys have cute builds. I kinda want you to win. Oh, you're a wizard. No, I don't want you to win anyway. Now you deserve this. You get all the wizard pain. There's gonna be a different wizard pain soon. Those hurt. Slightly. But enough that the bleed is scary. There's a third wave! Oh, you didn't fall for it. Sadness. Dodge my- Well, that's- that's sad. We don't talk about that. It's like one of those moments where it didn't perform, you know? It's, it's a secret. Dodge. I need my Moonlight Greatsword to glow. Let me make it glowy. Put your talons away, you bird-like creature. I fought enough of those birds earlier. <laughs> R2? Yeah! I didn't think it would work one-handed, though. Silly. Oh no, they're gonna take over. Come in here. I have a magic wave for you. Look at this sword! Yeah, that's what that felt like. <laughs> you don't have the... Yeah, nice. I honestly didn't expect him to do the fully charged R2, so I dodged early. Oh, the surprise attack! Heathens! Absolute heathens! <laughs> I did not expect that from you, you seem so awesome. Dishonest! <laughs> How dare you! My trust in you has wavered. Now you get the moon veil in the treatment. Let me just get my free heals here though, hold up. Hold up, get off my bottom. Yeah, that was sneaky. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. I'm coming, Tara. Come here. Hang on, I need some more of my blue juice. That, that, that was like a double stat proc. That was terrifying. I need to be careful here a little bit more. <laughs> Not anymore. Now I don't need to be careful. Because one of them left. Although, he could appear at any moment, huh? Wait, how does he get back up here? How much time do I have with Terra here? Oh! That was almost amazing. I'm right on your butt, Terra. Oh, well, now he's right on my butt. I hate jump attacks so much sometimes. <laughs> I like swipe right through it, but it doesn't matter. I don't have My power has wavered, <sighs> but not enough. Oh no, blue juice. Oh, that's dire. There's my blue juice. Okay, okay, I'll do something fun with you though. Now that there's just one of you. Yeah, that could be an actually good swap, but I wasn't prepared for him to be slept in one hit, to be honest. Face my blue goo. I'm a wizard. Face it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I just thought of range. Wait, is the elevator even here? Oh, sneaky. 
Honestly, I love this weapon. <laughs> you time your attack correctly and you get roll catches, like. <laughs> I'm gonna start r one I think, to throw him off. <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> I kind of want to try that on this guy. Oh! No. Oh, he didn't sleep right away, though. Unlike the other teammate. Very fun fight, though, Karina. Pretty good, pretty useful like swap though. They don't have a very like high po like, poise damaging weapon. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, the sleep to the moon veil always works. But it, wow, it, it won like slept to the summon. I wasn't expecting that earlier. Yeah, they at least feel like a, an interesting finish. Uh, the Elven RHS, what's up? I'm in the middle of my summoned weapon sorcery in Cant only. Oh, so you're doing both? Yeah, honestly, if you're doing pure, like, incantations or, uh, sorcery, you need, like, Catch Flame or Slicer, at least. You need some quick punish. Definitely helps a lot. And yeah, at 150, my wizard hits, like, a truck with it. It's very effective. Yeah, Slicer would probably be good at 90, too. People have less magic defense, right? I think my wizard had like 35 or 38, 40 attunement. I don't remember which one. I have like three. You what's up, Chase? Thank you, Abel. I'm in the middle of my summoned weapon sorcery slash How's it go? Only run. How How's the build with both sorcery and incantations? That could be interesting. Oh, they're up top, huh? Tough. I guess I'll go up. Phantom sleeps. Oh, the, like the phantom got slept. Sorry, I said that sentence terribly. But like he got slept by one Ash of War of the Sword. Oh, true. If they try to attack you in the invincibility frames, uh, I guess I could just warp. This is a really bad spawn. Oh, this, this is better. Oh, hello there. I thought I heard someone behind me. Oh. Do I stand in the way of your fog wall, my friend? Let me add the beauty of the Moonlight Greatsword. Hey, Sasuke. <laughs> Did Sasuke roll off the cliff? <laughs> because he got scared by my, like, magic beam. I'm gonna rewatch that after. I think he did. I think it got so close to him that, it, yeah. <laughs> he rolled backwards. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Funny part was I was actually aiming it at the Phantom, but he backstabbed at that moment, so it went right through. <laughs> he was not aware. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, that knight is terrifying, honestly, Quibble. <laughs> they they aggroed it all the way back to the grace point. Yeah, I feel like our wind ashes of war definitely are much worse. At least Storm Stomp can combo into something. Like Storm Collar is just the worst version of the the Axe's Ash of War, the Thunderstorm one. Man, it it loves to put you so far away from them. I can get there. It's just a pain in the butt. I'm actually learning the, the sewer system. Because I always get spawned. Oh, whoa. Hi there. Oh, God. That's bad. I'm getting hit by that one. No, I'm not. Fell in a hole. No, I'm back where I started. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, I go around. Well, I may as well take this time to do this, I guess. <laughs> Damn it. Ruin Greatsword in the tunnel. Pretty scary. Did they fall also? Hold up. Are they waiting around the corner? No, they fell. Oh, they did they not? Oh my god. <laughs> I could have sworn it sounded like they were below me. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm stuck in this prison. Or maybe they went right? No. Where do these guys go? Hey there. I throw bombs at you to anger you. Nice. Ha ha! <laughs> Face the horror, Lou, <laughs> and then the butt stab. Alvevnar, it's very versatile, but I only use the spells that summon a weapon in the animation. That's fair. Like, I'm trying to think of close range incantation spells. I guess it's like Catch Flame. The the bigger version of Catch Flame. Why do people run into... I think they get initially stunned by the scream, then they, they cue a roll usually. They get hit by the second one. And then at that point they've taken damage, so they're like in fight or flight and they're hit in circle even more. <laughs> That's my understanding of it. It is pretty scary in tunnels though. Oh, that's true. A lot of the sword ones, like the Agilus Moonblade, Alvevnor have the, the Frostbite build, but that's true. That's always been a good choice one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he thought I'm going to help the host or the Phantom. I don't know. <laughs> he did run into it. Yeah, the, the host did just run into the second hit. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think I was going to do it. Marissa Oh, on a, on a nice pretty top here. <laughs> you dare use my weakness against me. <laughs> I'm dead at this. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hello, Marissa Nya. I see that sneaky bird. <laughs> I will put it out of its misery eventually. <laughs> I'm ready. That's funny. Sneaky birdie. <laughs> ah! <You're dead. laughs> Send my worst enemy after me. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Quite honestly. Surprise! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't see that too much. I feel like that was a deserving one. Whee! It chip damages really well, honestly. Woo! Sneaky sneak. Oh, we didn't use our buffs. Oh, why? Because of the bird? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> that was funny. I can appreciate that. Those are the fun kind of dual snipes. I never think of that shit. <laughs> Using my one true weakness against me, the bird tactics. <laughs> Go. I wish, yeah, see, we're talking about the wind ones. That deserves so much better than it gets, honestly. Like, does it ever combo? It can, I guess, huh? Just very rarely. Oh, very fun fight though. Like, I guess it can, if you poise break with it, it can stun. Um, 
They did good damage on the follow-up. Somehow you have to get the wind to stun though. So yeah, yeah, the daggers might be a good way to break my poise kind of. I don't know how yeah, I don't know what the poise damage is on the initial part of it. Oh yeah, for sure, Thomas. All my all my streams say as VODs. That's actually amazing. I didn't even know there was a bird there. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Freaking evil birds. Beautiful fashion though, too. I like it. Yeah, it's so hard to remember. Like, I don't remember what all the wind ashes of war do for poise damage. It's like 40 poise damage. Yeah, that's tough. That means you kind of have to, like, phantom hit the player once beforehand, keep track of it, and then hit them with it. It's tough. Cause, well, Storm Stomp, though, on the other hand, stuns. Like, the stun is so high. I don't know. It's so strange. On Halberd for Storm Assault. Okay, 55. That's not terrible. If you have, like, one hit with, like, a lower poise weapon beforehand, you can do it. Like an S-Dock in your offhand. Something like this. You just, like, poke them, get a little bit of the poise gone, and then go for the Storm Assault. Which level is the most enjoyable to invade? That's tough. There's pros and cons to both. Like, uh... I would say, as an invader, it is very nice to invade 125 because your burst damage is so high. So when you fight 3v1s, right, the easiest thing to do is try to kill one of the phantoms who have lower health first, and at like 125 and above, your damage is so high, it's a lot easier. But at the same time, invasions take a little bit longer between time, I find, for my showcases. So sometimes I'll take the trade-off and say like 80 and 60 can be better because it's instant invasions, but... There's some downsides to those too. Uh, if people have like high level phantoms password summoned, the password summon scaling is terrible. Like if you fight like a, like a, like a level one, even like a 125 phantom at level 60, their status effects and stuff aren't really nerfed. So if they're running a bleed build, they're gonna bleed you in like one hit. So like the, there's slightly the longer fights at 60 with better damage output, which is very fun. But then when you come across like the over leveled phantoms, they become really difficult like far more difficult than any other level because your damage is so low so it's like a it's a give and take you can do them at like mid level they can be really fun but can be also very rough whereas at 120 you know once you have like the invasion mechanic down of isolating a phantom you have the damage output there to like take them out so it's doing both that's what i've noticed 60 actually had some really tough invasions for me because they were so long and my damage output was so low Yeah, true. If the if the high level has like frenzy build up, bleed really anything. Honestly, they can like one bleed you almost. Sir, <laughs> something sniffer. Okay, I also have the moonveil. Uh, this is not a moonveil chase. This is the moonlight great sword. <laughs> Why can I not just say moonlight great sword? Trade hit. Oh, a wizard in the background. Wait, what's the host? Can't really see through all the blue. Okay, he's got a colossal. That's fine. Hello. I feel like my R2 doesn't ever send an energy beam out. Am I weird for that? Do I have to like look up? Yes, maybe I do. Maybe I do have to free aim. Oh, madness snipe. The moon veil. Oh, this could be good. I just need to get them together. Not the moon. Block it! Oh, the slicer almost blocked it for me. I hope he gets hit by that. I'm trying to like set up where everybody gets hit. Nice! nice. Waves of darkness can honestly be a massacre. Bye guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Wastelander, which level? Yeah, that would be what I'd say. Can you name unbalanced things that come to mind? Um, yeah, so like things that I've experienced. Most of the status effects, you're talking about like the level differences. Fought a guy that was like over leveled and was able to bleed me in one spear poke. Like not even like a double spear, just one spear poke. So anytime I dodged it, I'd still get stunned by it from the bleed. So they definitely need to work on the password like scaling matchmaking for sure. 
Um, some weapons, obviously. Moonville is definitely a little bit too hard hitting. <laughs> Talking about weapons that are a little unbalanced. Um, sleep and madness should not stun people when they're rolling and dodging it properly. I'd say it's most of the status effects and then some outlying weapons that do too much damage. Finger, oh yeah, finger, sorry, shield poke in general, they just, they need to nerf that even more, like they just really do. They took away, so Ice Spear was an Ash of War we had before that would, if you used in the face of your opponent, by the way, it'd be like in their face, okay? And use the Ash of War and the, the, the person with the shield would have to be guarding, it would guard break them. I don't know why they took that out. There should be one way to like crack open a great shield. And that one's, like, it's pretty hard to do unless the opponent, like, is rushing you blindly. I don't know why they took that away. That was a great balance aspect to the Great Shield Poke. Uh, Rivers of Blood is fine, honestly. It's like, they, 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 they maybe did a little bit too much to it. <clears throat> but yeah, we have no Shield Break options, really. We have Shield Pierce, but, like, they can Shield Poke and out-trade you. You know what I mean? So... Moonva got like a poise stun nerf or something back a long time ago, I think. It was just for PvE, I believe. From what I remember. Yeah, even if even if it was like not the Oh, hello. Hello there. <laughs> well, hello boys. <laughs> Fancy meeting you again. <laughs> Neither of you were the host? That's gotta be a lie. I think he might have quit out really quickly. <laughs> oh, he quit out, okay. <laughs> that was unexpected. Fair, he's probably about to like, he just cleared the whole area. I don't even, I don't even judge, that's whatever. <laughs> but he died and then did it. I miss taking off my weapon and being able to parry. Why the hell is this a kick? Do you know how useless this is? It does like no poise damage. I can like kick someone wearing armor like me. They won't even get stunned. Like it's such a... <laughs> we used to be able to do that while holding a weapon by just flicking analog forward and R1-ing. No, they made it a different Ash of War. Really? They took away a mechanic. Why would you do that to us? I loved the kick. It was a good mix-up. <laughs> what the hell? And it doesn't even break shields. I know. What the hell is it for? I kicked a guy once when he was near ledge AFK. I couldn't even move him. I couldn't kick him off the ledge. So I was like, this is this is just. I never really accidentally kicked. I get I get it happened to people a lot. That's fair. Maybe they could have made it so you can like alter the control of it. But I missed the mechanic. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people said they accidentally did it. I didn't, I didn't really. All right, boys. It's time. I'm coming in there. You know what time it is? It's time for Waves of Darkness. <laughs> What's hitting him? <laughs> waves of Darkness. <laughs> I love this Ash of War now. It's such a good hyper armor trait against people that just will continuously attack you. Very effective. <laughs> Darkness. <laughs> yeah, it has really good hyper armor. It does. I just traded with the greatsword right there pretty easily. I keep forgetting to R2, remind me. It's because the last time I used this pretty in depth, the R2 didn't work. So now it's like embedded in my brain. <laughs> I will remember the R2 coming up. Hopefully in this invasion. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not in this invasion. This is the second time I invaded here. Although, I have to admit, the, the cannon invasion was pretty good. Although, no compass. Is he hiding as a dead body? The things you can hide as now are a little bit crazy. 
Hmm. Wait. Okay, we're gonna warp and see what happens. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is much better. Yes. Yes, indeed. Is he looking at me? God, analog, please. Boop. Wait, there's someone behind me. Wait. This guy knows about me, though. <laughs> We're playing a minigame, host. If you can dodge the cannon, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> nice dodge. Alright, what if I play tricks on you and shoot this way? <laughs> Trying to quick scope it. There is a blue over there, though. <laughs> okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. I get it, you know, you know. But, do you know about the waves of darkness? Do you? That's a, that's a ledge there. I will zone you with this. Into the hole you go. You're staying in there now. Wait. Did that chain together a little too well? Oh, it's because he fell off the ledge and he got the lying down animation. <laughs> That's funny. I, I That time I didn't want to do the R2. I just wanted to keep putting him into the Scarlet Rot. That was on purpose. <laughs> we'll do the R2 next time. I just thought that might work out better. That was funny. <laughs> cruel. Nothing's too cruel. <laughs> Waves of the blub 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 blub. Uh, what do you think about dupe and grand merchant mod? I haven't tried that for uh, Elden Ring, but honestly, I really wish that in the game they just had the mechanic for you to buy everything by the end of it. You know what I mean? Because people are going to do that in their playthrough. They're going to drop their friend stuff regardless. They, they have the mechanic here to drop something. You know what I mean? Like, they have it. So, obviously, Elden Ring wants you to be able to do that. I just think it would have been smarter for them to add the ability to buy it at the end. I don't know why they don't ever do that. When they know people will just trade items regardless. But. Their game, I guess. <laughs> they give us the mechanic. People are going to do it. Yeah. I know. Like, you can craft everything. You can get the materials to craft it. But, yeah, like, why can't you just buy them? They, would, they just really wanted to push their crafting mechanic, I think. To be honest. That's all it is. They wanted the adventure crafting thing. Hello there. I'm here again. And you're gonna die the same way. <laughs> oh, I didn't do the R2 in time. Come here. Come hither. R2. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I can't do the follow up. <laughs> well. This is working well. A little too well. <laughs> A little too well. <laughs> Thanks. I just wanted the thrust of them. All I did was hit L2 twice. Well, I hit R2 once. They both jumped into it. <laughs> Why does everybody keep jumping into it? <laughs> L2 is the win button. It's sad. I did kill them with that before. <laughs> Oh, you're right. That's even worse. They died the same way two times. I think I invaded Bank of America as well before. So this, this might be another one. We started off the stream with the Moon Veil sleep, and then we evolved into Moonlight Great Sword, yes. And then now we are in Waves of Darkness phase. <laughs> This is quite fun. Where are they, though? I'll use one bloody finger here. N 
Nice. Spawn me on the, 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 wait, is this, that's where I originally spawned, thanks. Thank you. I do appreciate you. Recusant finger, thank you. Pretty sure they're on the bottom floor. Which is the saddest part about this, cause. <laughs> Damn it. That's a journey and a half for me. What is the fastest way down there? I have to go through the sewer. Okay, I'll do it one more time. We'll try one more time. <laughs> Moon Veil Greatsword. That'd be cool. Oh my god, that'd be my favorite weapon. There we go. Hey guys, remember me. <laughs> I remember me. I'm sure you'll remember me soon enough. There we go. Remember me. <laughs> I came back with a vengeance. <laughs> Well, that'll definitely remember me. <laughs> I did it. I got a kill with it. That's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of damage though, wow. The hyper armor is nice. I don't know what the amount is, but I like I only have 60 poison. I just tanked a colossal, so yeah, I think it's pretty real. Now we can move on to Death Poker. Oh, but it's Drizzy University. We fought some honest fights with Drizzy. Hey, Drizzy. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to. I guess I'll try Death Poker. It's kind of fun. I don't know if I'll land it, but... Hello there. I'll try. Oh! I looked away for but a moment. You are fast with that hammer. Parkour. Wait, something's behind me. Ooh, okay. This will be a more interesting one. That was my... That was my secret flame boss. Hey, Blue. Hey, it's a full flame build. I'm coming in. This is our battleground. I'll stay in here. I'm trying. The blue is making it rather difficult. I'm out of FP, by the way. Sadness. Okay, we need a different AoE. Just one of these really quick. Just to scare the blue. Just to give him a little bit of fright. In his Saturday night. Ah, uh, here you go, Mr. Blue. Another one for you, Mr. Blue. They keep having them, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Good for you. Alright, I lied. I want one more kill with this. <laughs> Come get me, Mr. Blue. <laughs> it's the freight train. What else? Giant hunt! Oh, I missed. Unfortunate for me, Mr. Blue. I only got one more FP flash, so I got a few more memes in me here. <laughs> You're brave, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Attacking like that, you have no fear. I like him. Oh! Wasn't expecting that, Mr. Blue. Come here. Oh! No! <laughs> the full me invasion ended with a death blight. <laughs> Good job, boys. Great teamwork. Them both together stunned me out of my second horror No. <laughs> They did it. Are there any more uh, AOE ones we can add for just fun moments like that? I guess just the uh, fire tornado, huh? We have Horaloo. 
<laughs> that was actually funny. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. I was just kind of like trying to tank and trade with the Ashes of War. Made for a really fun invasion though. The butt bounce. Oh, the butt bounce. Oh. Hmm. That could maybe work. Trying to think of really cool ways to get like the triple kill. We've got one with the horror loot today and with the waves of darkness quite a lot. So I don't know what else we could use in the future. Are there any faith ones? Golden land is the faith one, right? I guess we could add that to the faith build. That could be hilarious. Oh. Ah, uh, it's been working for me, Juanito. I've, there've been instant invasions. I don't know, I didn't try plus eight. I don't know what you guys normally use at 90. Golden Slam is faith, nice. When we do the faith, we can have that. The tornado is fate too, so we get to use Black Flame Tornado and it'll actually do like very good damage. That'll be fun. Because on the strength build it worked, but it never really killed. It did like 800 or 700, I think, so. I guess Wave of Gold, but it's like, eh, that's true. Hello, guys. Oh, look, wait, did we invade? Oh, we invaded Small PP before. He fell in the bush. Oh, Sleep Pots. <laughs> We're both just using the Moonlight Greatsword. Okay, I'm going to pop their bubbles before anything. Oh, well, I'm going to eat a crab, apparently, in his face. There we go. Oh. Sometimes it's a little slower than you think, and it throws you off. Oh. Oh, he also has Moon Veil. Hey, it's Lamp Top. Hello. Ah, <laughs> he's aware. Oh, that makes such an interesting sound in here. I need to use that more in here. Oh my god. The damage on that is just ridiculous. I guess I do keep hitting people with the actual thrust, though. They they keep happening to trade into it, I guess. Maybe laptop? It's a lamp top. Oh, that might be laptop. But he's got a lamp now, so he's lamp top. That's amazing. I didn't think of that at first. He's like a lamp. <laughs> That's great. Good cosplay laptop, if that was you. Well, well, well. <laughs> Hello. You've evolved into Lamp Top. <laughs> That's good. I like the, the no the no pants still. Still part of the, the outfit. Yeah, I, honestly, it does really good damage on this infield. Wow. Yeah, all I've really gotten is trades with it, and it's so... Yeah, it's so damaging. Excited to see what we can do with the Faith next. Maybe I'll try out some, like, I don't know. Well, we'll see what we can pull off with Faith. I might have to just go to meta for the Faith one to use incantations if we're going to use them. It would be very hard to pull that off on this level. Unless you guys have tried level 90 Faith and had one that worked. I don't know. Like, it'd be tough. It'd be basically similar stats, but my FP would be limited. Yeah, exactly. We get to use flame art, said. That's what I want to try. Yeah, maybe I'll do the 137 one. I think I have a character that would be good for that. I could just alter over. Well, this is an interesting area. <laughs> Can't give it up yet. You saw nothing. There's no red behind you. There's no giant pulsing purple wave coming your way. Not at all. I'm not behind you. It's okay. You're crazy. <laughs> We're just going to do the wake up because he's going to try to attack us. Maybe not. 
We'll do it again. <laughs> no! Oh, that wasn't the breath? We're just gonna fight him with AoEs. <laughs> okay, well, that's a little bit more honest. Alright, we'll do something else then. I thought you were a dragon breather. Well, jump attack roll catch still works pretty well. <laughs> that still works pretty damn well. <laughs> Be gone, bot. You shall not pass. Since we're like almost a wizard. I don't know why there's so many of those. Like, do people click on them? Like, they like the people that put the time in to do that. They, they must like have some success. It's like, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> there's far too many of those bots. Just, my God, I couldn't imagine doing that. Just like before you'd have like hot singles in your area <laughs> everywhere like when everything was like when Facebook and stuff first came out I swear lamp top I don't miss. I still get those random telegram bots. They're very rare, at least the past couple days. It's been nice. I have a couple days. That's what we hope for. Some days we don't have them. Hot solo hosts in your area. Invest in decks today. <laughs> My next decks build title right there. Thank you. You inspired that for me. <laughs> All right, hey, it's Drizzy again. Let's go, Drizzy. <laughs> Free decks from invaders near you. Hello, Drizzy. How are you? Oh, hello, you have a summon. Oh, it's Holy Dusk. Let's go. Let's try and get some explosions in here. Oh, Dusk, truly evil. In the oh, that's interesting. You don't see that every day. <laughs> I am Scarlet Rotted though. That did work to your favor. Use the tailbone, brother. Oh, you can get backstabs on the stairs pretty well, apparently. Ooh. <laughs> oh, beautiful! Punch you, slice you. Dice you. <laughs> uh, we don't really have any more big AoEs. Moonveil. I mean, one like guys are coming in hot. Oh! <laughs> Almost. If that was Waves of Darkness, I feel like you would have landed that. Oh! oh, the NPC hit him at the same time. It's like, why did that do 1,300 damage? Oh, hello there, Haiti. Welcome. I like your outfit. Very rags to riches wizard. <laughs> yeah, Timbo, I didn't know. I didn't know you could hyper armor that so easily. I just wanted to test it, but it, it did so much damage to you. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Yeah, well, you guys talked about a frenzy build. You kind of interested me. Uh, we'll either do that for the faith first, or the the like the fire incants. I don't know. I gotta decide. I don't know. Well, I guess have you guys had like I don't know what level I should do. It's really up to you. We can try one thirty, like seven. I feel like that's easier for casters. All the wizards I've done have been like a little higher level. 
just for the FP, so. Especially as an invader. As a summon, it's one thing, but yeah, when you're invading, you need the FP. Invading another world. Yeah, I'll, we'll see what I can manage. We'll see how active it is. Maybe I'll make two different ones. I just want to give the deaths per second with my fireballs. Yes, <laughs> exactly. All the flame incants in the offhand, and then we'll have like the regular faith weapon. Maybe like the flame art weapons. Yeah, something to try out. Yeah, Faith has the daggers that can do the chip damage as well. I might have a few on those. Hello? Fort Laid. Fort Laid. I'm near, apparently. But how near? Oh. I hear sneaking. Someone swinging swords up here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was rude of me, but it was funny. <laughs> yeah, I think I have like 500 HP. <laughs> hey, man. Oh. I have a surprise for you. You're not gonna like it, but I have it for you regardless. There you go. That was your gift. <laughs> I repelled your magic, sir. Goodbye, Moonvale Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually funny though, that poor guy got cannoned. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> I can't believe the friggin' Phantom had 500 HP though, what the hell? Why? <laughs> Buried his magic career and life. Yeah, I was wondering how good that would work to absorb it. I still took damage though, but it was good because I could pressure him after. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be doing every weapon showcase eventually. Yeah, I mean, he did like, I guess he did like one third of my health with that Ash of War, but it is a Katana one. So they always hit pretty hard. Hmm, are they on top of this hill, this bird? <laughs> Listen, you and I, we don't get along, Mr. Birdie. Oh no, I need the horse. Are they really all the way up there? Or down? Oh, they're down. Okay. Useful, useful. Hello there, wizards. Fellow wizards. What? My parry didn't come out. How dare you? Do it again. Do it again. I want redemption. I'm... Shoot it. Shoot it. Aww. Lame. <laughs> How dare my parry ignore me. After I've just given it such love. Wait, can I just... I can just jump down here, right? It's so weird for me. The, like, fall damage. Hello. Goodbye. The wizard away 1,000. Yeah, this one's not quite as effective as the 9,000, but it, it'll get the job done. No, 
Oh, I thought he was firing a different type of magic at me. Yes, this is my ally. We are of the frost. Yes, moon veil me. Do it. Yes. <laughs> oh. Now I'm just going to have fun with this. Show me what your moon veil can do. Not really worth it. <laughs> but it was fun nonetheless. I strafe your wizardry. <laughs> oh, does it work? I've always wondered what projectiles that works on. Like, I know you can use the tree sentinel shield to reflect incantations, right? But, like, all of them? Are there limits on it? I don't know. I haven't really tried it on every attack. Can you reflect? I guess you could reflect the throwing rocks, right? Like the sling, but like the recovery so quick, they probably dodge. Whereas if you if you use it on the moon veil, it usually hits the person using the moon veil, which is very nice. Yeah, not night sorceries, right? Yeah, like the the dark blue ones. Uh, my playtime at this point, I could tell you. Let's go to Steam. It is 732 hours. Nowhere near my Dark Souls 3 playtime. <laughs> That's fair. War Dead Catacombs. Nice. I don't really get a lot of invasions here. Yeah, Stars of Ruin, it'll, it'll chip through the fairy, which is rough. Yeah, I mean, there was a month period where I was gone on a vacation, and then I, I recently have been I moved. Uh, so, like, the past couple months for me have been very busy. So I haven't played as much. And now I've been streaming, and I'll, I'll be back. Oh, hello there, guys. Allow me to enter the fray. Nice. That's damage. <laughs> Mark his grave. <laughs> Aw, I wish it wasn't the host I got hit by that, but that just looked too cool to not get the crit on, you know? It, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, a hundred percent? I don't know if I have all achievements. I might be missing like a spell or two or like a talisman or two, so not a hundred percent yet. But for the most part, yeah. The spot marks are grave. Actually, you know what? You just reminded me. We were talking about pizza earlier. I'm checking when it closes. Because <laughs> uh, I really want a pizza. I really don't feel like cooking today. When do they close? Oh, they close? Okay. All right. We'll definitely get a few more invasions in. I'll have time to go get it. <laughs> pizza life. Yeah, you guys inspired me to watch some anime and eat some pizza after. Today will not be a healthy day. <laughs> but that's okay. The Grand Cloister. That's a Pokemon, right? <laughs> the Grand Cloister. <laughs> no, not another bow fight, no. Okay, okay, Lumen. Nice. Oh, wait, I think I invaded Lumen earlier. I definitely did. Silly Lumen. Getting hit by the aftershock of the waves of darkness. And then the Moon Veil. That's actually a good combo. I didn't even think about that. I, like... These beside each other are great. Oh, that could be amazing. What? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's crazy. Because it, it has like the after effect, right? You have the initial ones. 
that they would get hit by. And then you can go for the roll catch with the third one. So if they panic roll, they get hit by the waves of darkness. If they don't, they get hit by the moon veil. You just gotta practice the timing. Bean Man, thank you so much. Welcome back, Mr. Bean. Oh, we're trying that out. I at least want to see if that little combo works. Yeah, that would be a really hard-hitting mix-up. Let me just think of the timing here. So do this. Uh, I have to get the timing down like exactly for when it... When do I get recovery frames? Okay, so if I do that... <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, do you go to try to hit with the final one? Do you like combo it together? Or do you stagger it? I think it might be better to stagger it. So you do this. You have a lot of time to swap. And oh. Then you stagger it with that one. Yeah, okay. I'll try to remember that timing. Do this. Oh. I keep doing it a bit early. This takes a little bit longer than you think to recover. Yeah, like that. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, if you go slightly later, yeah, I think that might be the better way to do it. Because if you do it right away, sure, you could do, like, crazy damage if they get hit by the follow-up one, but if you do it like this, then you could roll catch them. Okay. I'll try that out. That'll definitely be useful. But first, you have to land the trade. <laughs> yeah, that might be an insta-kill if they all hit. If they all hit, it is, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, the third wave and the moon veil. Yeah, that would probably be a finish if they both hit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think we did that by accident right there. Actually, I did that, and then the host got hit by the third wave, and I happened to pull out my moon veil right then. The moon presence. Thank you so much, dude. Well, tell me, what do you like on your pizza? I need some pizza topping inspirations. All right, small PP. I have a test that I must test. Okay, I will give you a bow because I've invaded you three times. <laughs> so I really, I just need to land it on the moon veil swing, which is going to be hard. Oh no, you heal, heal, small PP, heal. I need him to heal. This is not going to work out if he doesn't heal. You provide me with entertainment. I pay for your pizza. Ah, good dodge. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, this is why we need hosts with health. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Banana pepper. Yo, peppers on pizza is actually good. I would say my favorite is like any like meat lover pizza. Um, yeah, onions are good. Peppers are good. I not like on a pizza. Olives. Not a huge fan of olives on a pizza. Oh, any, I do anything with cheese I like. And I really enjoy any cheese-based dinner. <laughs> Meat lover right here. Yeah, I, I, I like most. I think my favorite is like pepperoni, bacon, uh, out of the two meat types. Some of the sausage is good. What about pineapple? I've tried it, because, uh, fun fact, I actually tried it on one of my streams in the past, because someone donated that, I got it, <laughs> uh, on the stream, and it was, it was okay. I don't, I don't hate it. Definitely not my favorite, though. I always get extra cheese as well, I don't know if you guys do that, but I feel like it just, it keeps it all together better. <clears throat> One sec, back. There we go. Heading back into the invasion, we have 
Pawn D Enhancer. <laughs> Maybe we'll land it this time. Get you an extra topping. That is a premium topping, Randy. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay, we'll try a load of pizza. Extra topping on the pizza. Yo, extra cheese stuffed crust as well. That's perfect. Alright, Randy, I'm gonna try this for you. Ow. I'm trying to die for you, apparently. Fine! Have it your way! <laughs> <laughs> Have it absolutely your way. That's what you get. Corner camping wizards. I wanted to test my combo, but that was just as helpful. That felt just as good. <laughs> what the heck? And Jason, thank you so much, man. It'd be great to study under. Yeah, I've never actually played Souls play on, Xbox. on Xbox. I have never, to be honest. It's like the one console. Well, I've had an Xbox, but I've never played Souls games on Xbox. So. Unfortunately. And Randy, thank you for the membership, man. Welcome. You know what? You reminded me. I need to get some emotes for YouTube. I always forget about that because YouTube has been doing more for streams lately, which is nice. We have the one cheeky emote, which is like the pink face. <laughs> but I want to make some Elden Ring ones. Alright, we try to land the combo. Hopefully it's someone that will trade into it. <laughs> yeah. That's my uh, girlfriend's Dark Souls character. She had like a, a PNG for it, so I was like, that's cute. I'll keep it. Yeah, what the heck? I guess I can use the finger up there. <laughs> it's cursed. <laughs> I want a nice Melania helm face though, because we've used it so much. I feel like at this point, it's kind of like my helmet. I use that in the the other one, the Banished Knight helmet, but I, I like this one more. I don't know. I like this outfit. Oh, are they, are they way up? Uh, that is a journey and a half for sure. What are the odds I can get up there with the recusant finger? Probably low. I'll try, but kind of doubt it. <laughs> Hope for the best. Oh, did I get further off? Oh. <laughs> okay, if this one doesn't work, we'll just look for a different invasion. Anything under 30 to 40? Yeah, 40 is like my lowest cut, and it's because the int here is, uh... It's pretty stat intensive for what I have, because I have a variety of weapons, so we only have the 41 vigor. Okay, well, we'll leave out of here and look for a better one. That is way too long of a walk. <laughs> we lazy invaders out here. Yeah, they have some pretty bad spawn locations. It doesn't really take into account all the vertical. And some of the areas like gates that block you off unless the host open them, so. What advantages does fire have over the other elements? None. <laughs> Just gets nerfed. Stand on water, worse. Raining, worse. <laughs> Most builds have good fire defense. Ah, oh, something clever. Two years, man. That's crazy. Basically like a year of Elden Ring and a year of Dark Souls. Hey, it's the team. It's the dude. Now I get it. What are the odds that I leave the invasion? I come back to the invasion. And I'm closer. Hello there. Hey, hey man. I left earlier because I, I couldn't I couldn't get up here. It was it was quite quite a journey. Alright, so you have the Stitcher. Okay, I have one too. With the phalanx. Whoa! That was some Dark Souls 3 backstab. And a half. Hi, <laughs> right, where do you live, sir? You have the best connection with me I've seen. 100%. 
That was some if connections work properly backstab, and I like it. Wow! That did some immense damage. What the heck? <laughs> What's this one have? Chilling mist. Do the mist! Zabuza with the hidden mist jutsu. <laughs> oh, nice. Popped this tier. Oh, wait, did he heal mid duel? He did, didn't he? Hmm. Comes down to if he's going to heal or not. An attempt was made. Get some wings too after dealing with all of those birds. <laughs> we both kind of had the same idea. Very fun fight though. <laughs> Just go for the chip finish. That's great. Oh, Marissa, get some wings to you. know what I've actually never done? I don't think I've ever had wings from a pizza place. I know it sounds crazy, but I, I never get like the combo. I always get like the large pizza. Are they decent? Alright, we'll go for one more in the honor of the wings as well, and I also want to try to land that combo. <laughs> but, I keep fighting solo viewers, it's easier on like a team. Pizza on wings, god damn boys. <laughs> Pizza on wings. What you, what's next, you eat your french fries on your burger? The heresy. <laughs> no, it's only been three invasions, one guy died on his own, the other guy I just... Yeah, I fought with the Stitcher because he was, he was playing pretty well, so they weren't going to walk into the trade. Yeah, Pizza Hut's where I plan to go get the pizza, to be honest. They have the, they just have stuffed crust. It wins, you know? Every other pizza place doesn't have that. I get to eat the crust with cheese in it. Like, <laughs> how do you top that? I've tried, you know what's weird? I've actually tried it, like it's a, it's an Alfredo pizza. You have pizza, the base sauce is not tomato, it's Alfredo, you get chicken, a barbecue sauce. It's pretty good. It doesn't taste like a traditional pizza, but it's, it's good. Rufus, okay. Don't forget a dip, garlic on everything, chaos. Oh, Rufus, I just, I feel like I just had this fight. Give a teammate. Okay. Well, maybe we'll land it. Maybe he'll attack here. Well, I think I would have landed it, but he died. <laughs> Don't forget a death. <laughs> I cannot believe how much damage the Waves of Darkness is doing on, on an int build. This at meta would be crazy with 60 int. I've never tried that really. I've only used these Ashes of War on strength builds, and I find that hilarious. Give me one final one. <laughs> Damn it. It's, it's, it hits too hard. <laughs> they die before the finish. Uh, I'm not even using, I'm not even using the Shard of Alexander. What? <laughs> How much would this be doing? Yeah, it's actually really good. I mean, I've, I use it on strength builds usually. I haven't really run an in build too often though. Only like a couple times, I think. Yeah, that was so much damage. Yeah, I think I talked about that before they nerfed the, the Glintstone Pebble Ash of War, like Pebble. Int was already stupid, but like that added one shot to it. It was too strong. Yeah, so so some of the projectile ones that have elements like fire and stuff, they do scale off of like their stat. Fun. What the boar? This is another lone host. We have to leave and find a team. I want to land this. 
It's very pretty here right now, though. Oh. Fun. Hello, fun. Yes, I mean, you're alone. Kinda laggy. I'll put the emphasis on kinda and up it to very... He's a god walking. <laughs> you cannot stop him. <laughs> what do you mean, hey? <laughs> what do you mean, hey? <laughs> well, I'm a way to explode. It'll happen eventually. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but... We're in a different universe! Oh, he's dead! <laughs> he's dead, I win. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey. hey, the multiverse theory was right. He comes from a different universe. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. That's actually pretty funny. We'll wait for this. Do we even bother? You know what? I hit, it's gonna disconnect on him, but like, wow, it took forever. Wish I had like a ping viewer or something. That was crazy. <laughs> 10 million ping is right. Jeez. Crazy. <laughs> okay, we'll go for we'll go for one final one. I don't know why these have all been like a solo player at the end here. That's weird. Invading another world. That was my time skip. <laughs> exactly. Ten invasions later. I know, right? I just want to see if it... I mean, if it works. Oh. Now I'm only getting people I've fought. We need a random invasion. <laughs> but anything but Mr. Fun. Fun, okay, maybe standing. Where let's move locations. Let's just stand here. His router was in the Eternal City. Makes sense. <laughs> that was but his mere after image. Okay. We hope for the best here. Invading another world. Oh, because I just want to fight a random team. Uh, those are all people that I fought. I'm pretty sure they're viewers, which is fine. But I'm looking for like a last invasion where I just try this combo out. Yeah, I fought the last two people like twice in a row. There we go. This is this is random. We can maybe land the combo here. <laughs> Mostly because I'm hung hungry. Hung hungry. I can't even speak. No! <laughs> don't. I'm cursed to never be able to land this or try it. I think my game crashed, but I don't know. Use this for the Fortnite strippers or the Overwatch skins. Whoa, whoa, what is this bias? Why are the Fortnite skin strippers but the Overwatch ones just skins? Ha! <laughs> well, shit, dude. Oh, okay, I'll relaunch the game. I'm cursed, man. I'm actually cursed. Thanks, bro. Are you playing Overwatch today? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Priorities. The new Overwatch skins. <laughs> Oh man. Alright. Use this for the Fortnite strippers or the Overwatch 2 skins. If not, then embrace the fat. <laughs> That's my $100 pizza, yes. <laughs> embrace the fat. Okay, well, I'll still try one more, but it's getting dangerously close. My pizza place closes in an hour. <laughs> it is a sign. Maybe it is a sign, but. In honor of Drift's support, we will go for one more and hope my game doesn't crash. 
Doesn't want us to know about the forbidden combo. Just order it. It doesn't order to my house, man. <laughs> the one downside of where I am now. It's like a little out of the Pizza Hut jurisdiction. <laughs> 35 to that's some gourmet pizza right there. I pray for the. Uh, oh. All right, we we'll call it. That's it. The game's spoken. It doesn't. It doesn't want me to do it. I'll do it next stream, or well, not next, cause faith. But yeah, we'll do it. We'll remember. I'll save the build. I'm starving. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> I'll look for someone to give a raid to, though. If you guys do want to continue watching uh, Elden Ring PvP, we have anyone playing on Twitch? Uh, the only person I see playing is Nap, and I don't. So Napstar's funny dude doing some Elden Ring. I don't know if he's PvPing or not. Uh, this is him, though. He streams on Twitch all the time, plays Elden Ring all the time. I'm off to get a pizza because all I ate today was a protein shake. <laughs> I woke up and I streamed, basically. So, yeah. I'll see you guys. Thanks so much for all the... Ooh, how do you gesture on keyboard? Okay, wait. Thanks for all the memberships, though. And the donations today. You guys are so kind, actually. Hey! I will see you all next time. Most likely Faith with the with the flame in cans. I think I want to try that. Yeah, you get some rest. Good night, all. Appreciate all the love. Goodbye.